okay, I think it's alright. Uh, there's so much stuff. I see the value in my launch, but I also see okay. the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of. I don't have time even to finish those quests down there. Uh, let's teleport back there. I continue those quests. I'm not gonna do the event yet. There's still time. I haven't even done uh, Novelette's chapter. No, Hangout chapter. Uh, let's complete those quests. I hope there will be short quests. Then I'll check some of the overworld things. That we got there. Uh, just say no. Uh, there was something I had to. Oh, yeah. That I want to. Uh, that's the event. So, this. Yeah, I had some areas to investigate, didn't I? Wasn't there more? Okay, let's see what that is. Yeah, I haven't even investigated this area around because I was afraid someone would auto start the quest like that. Hello, sir, and hello to your cute companion, Dirty Face Darcy, at your service. Dirty Face. That's right, just call me Dirty Face Darcy. They used to call me Pretty Face on the outside, but that nickname is just so lame. Please, just call me Dirty Face instead. Oh, that's just a cool nickname. I wash my face every day. You don't have to stand all over there. <laughs> Any news? Where's the action at? You know, it's really weird to talk like that. Don't tell Paimon. Don't tell Paimon you pick up some bad habits. No way, Paimon won't allow it. Too bad, it's not time for pen creation yet. Uh, let me think. How about this? Why don't I take you to have some fun? A few folks have locked horns over the chains to go outside. I had no idea those Fontaine Research Institute guys could dish it out like that. I'm guessing they will be here any minute now. What do you think? Think of it as an opening act before the real pain creation match starts. So I'm not gonna check it out. Okay, let's go then. Let's go. Finish comedy. Okay, if it's something like that, it feels like this would be a long quest. Hmm. Where? <laughs> it's Tien. Hi, Tien. I brought two new friends with me. Your new friends may have come at a bad time. See that? They're gonna be at it for a while. Hmm. That's an unscientific way of keeping score. Besides, the participants were unsupervised. Is that any way to produce convincing results? I'm calling for a reassessment. This is a competition. Of course, we should have a refined system and fair rules. Participants who don't follow the rules should be disqualified. You talk a good game. Uh, you ex I'd expect nothing less from someone who's been through the ringer. If you're referring to the fraudulent thesis case, I've already made my point several times now. The case is still under investigation. It's useless to try and attack my character or something like that. If you say so, after all, you're the only one who knows the truth. Oh, it's Genevieve and Rave again. I'll talk to you about my thing later then. I'm gonna bounce for now. I'll leave my two new friends to you. Darcy makes a dash for it. Or wasn't he going to show us something? He left us just like that. Some guide. Paimon gives him zero stars. Zero. Mr. Guard, as the organizer, uh, it's not exactly proper for you to stay out of this discussion of the rules, is it? Uh, this is just a game to pass the time. How was I supposed to know you'd all get so riled up over it, let alone take it this seriously? 
Right, why don't we introduce the rules uh, of the game to the new players? The game, I'm definitely gonna win. I haven't agreed to play yet. And that's right, we don't even know what this game is. If it's an eating competition, I will absolutely play. But if it's some sort of game involving a lot of hard work and very little reward, then you can forget about it. Don't try to change the subject. We are already halfway through the game and they don't even know the fundamental rules. They can just join now. So what are you guys playing? Coupon Millionaire. Paimon's never heard of such a game. Of course not. This is just what the Heartless Guards play to make fun of us. Everyone loses and I'm sure you know who wins. Uh, that's not true. You work to earn coupons during the game. And the one that has the most coupons, you get an even better reward from me. So everyone wins, but one person wins more than the rest. A reward better than coupons. What could it, could it be? In Darcy's words, a chance to be under the sun. And some of our periodic checks need to be performed outside. And I get to decide who gets these jobs. Uh. It wouldn't be very interesting if I just picked based on my preference. So I created Coupon Millionaire. And those who want to go outside are free to sign up. Whoever gets the most coupons wins the game. Uh, if you feel like you feel that your strength alone will be insufficient, you can find others to group up with. As for how you earn coupons, I don't care about that. But if you group up with other people, will they be able to go outside with us? As far as games go, the rules are really vague. It's part of the strategy. Does the Fountain Research Institute not have similar games? How about you, Darcy's new friends? Sorry, everyone, but I'm going to win. It's not very attractive. No, it seems fine. It's not impossible to come back from behind, but only those who have the means will be able to do it. As for them, SCN may be sure arrange a special competition for children. Children's competition. Paimon doesn't know who you are, but you shouldn't underestimate us. We've seen some things. It's just a game, and we're gonna cruise through it. No, I would definitely be the biggest winner. Uh, well, a real child and a confident one at that. But she's gonna get coupons, is she arrested here as well? Uh, that's what Catter said, and he's never lied to me. What are you all doing here? You again, you soon. I didn't break any rules, did I? In fact, I even increased everyone's work efficiency, and that should be to my credit. You know what I mean. You know your place, Sian. You're a guard, and you should use your powers to make them obey you. I have my way of doing things, and you... No, uh, noiseless, noiseless. I'm gonna say noiseless. It's been some time since you arrived here at the fortress. You should try blending in a little more. Laziness, apathy. I will restore order here, starting with you. Stop this gathering and go back to what you were doing. Why did she run away? I am not as lenient as Estian. If I'm going to restore order, then punishments are a must. I don't think you want to know what they are. Are there things that even I don't know? I just, you don't need to waste any of your time on this game that we play to kill time. The fortress is huge, I'm sure there are other things that require your attention. I don't need you to remind me. No leaves, leaves, genuine Finally, being serious can be a virtue, but being overly serious is something else. Anyway, now that the annoying guy is gone, we will join the game, Darcy's new friends. What sort of person leaves their friends behind anyway? We aren't his friends. In fact, Paimon's gonna use his uncle Nick nickname to address him. That's a preface. The preface is jerk. Oh, wait a minute, the nickname doesn't sound all that mean. Uh, Alright then, uh, what should we call you? Call me Paimon, this Ignus. As for the game, we'll need more time to think about this. Maybe next time. No, let's join the game.
Uh, sure, if change your mind, if, if please feel free to talk to me. Should you where did the little girl go? Why are there children? So young in the fortress, but I was really intrigued. We should look for her and talk to her. There you are. Oh, you again in your... Uh, are you a bird, little one? A bird? Paimon doesn't look like a bird. The way you keep talking. Indeed, Paimon, you don't. Uh, you mean melodic chirping. Uh, that's so strange. You can fly, but you're not a bird. Are you an evil dragon? Or an evil dragonling? The way you eat and your thirst for wealth certainly fits the bill. Mm, no, they don't. Anyway, he's Inus, and Paimon's name is Paimon. What's your name? I'm Lanor Lanoir. Uh, Mr. Inus and Miss Paimon, will you please tell me whether the evil sorcerer is still there? The evil sorcerer? Yes, with black clothes and a staff that has branches sticking out of it. Carter said that I mustn't get spotted by that sorcerer, or things will get very bad. Where is this wicked spell slinger? My sword is ready. Was it the person that we just saw? That one also had black clothes and stuff. Uh, why are you playing along? Paimon thinks she's talking about uh, who we just saw. Must have been a guard, right? So who is this bad, bad sorcerer? Estienne or Noelis? Estienne is a good sorcerer. He brought me flowers when he returned last time. They had the same color as my skirt. Then C Carter taught me to put them into books and make pressed flowers. The way my books would smell nice too. Uh, is this what they call the fragrance of knowledge? Uh, no, like then. Estienne said he was annoying too. No plot twists. Boring. My mom doesn't like him either. My mom seems... It seems uh, he doesn't think very highly of us. Anyway, the evil sorcerer is gone now. Still, why is there a little kid like you in the fortress of Meropid? I've always been here. Why does everyone ask me that? It's so strange. Don't you two have your own home too? Home is where your family is. She was born here then? That's what Carter said too. Which is why I have a home that I don't know about. Uh. Uh, how do you call a place that you don't know home? Wait, I can't? That's a toughie. But I'm sure Carter know the, knows the answer. He knows lots of things and lots of stories. Mm, Mike Carter... Uh, it's not Carter, it, it's Cater then. Since there are no R there. Cater. My cater, by any chance, uh, be a kid who looks about the same age as you? Uh, nope, he's a lot taller than me. Taller than Mr. Ignus and taller than the evil sorcerer. But I think he's afraid of the evil sorcerer. He lost his sword and the evil sorcerer has a powerful staff, so he hides when the evil sorcerer comes out. This cater sounds mysterious. And maybe Lanora is just too young. She hasn't been very clear about herself at all. Maybe Cater knows more. I guess we can go meet him. We want to meet Cater. Will uh, will take us to see him? Sure, but it's too soon to go back. I want to explore this place while the evil sorcerer is in here. Will you come with me? Let's go. Let's go. Um, Bow Wow House just ahead, we'll never be inside, Kater won't let me. Um, her Bow Wow sounds fun inside, maybe it's because there are fur monsters there, it's a very dangerous place. So new social intern was, and the place became quiet. Uh, it's Skylark, why are you here? Careful now, or the evil sorcerer might catch you and put you in a cage. The evil sorcerer is here now, I am not afraid. Good, good. Atta girl. Uh, those who come here freely walk around this thing in circles. Uh, 
necessarily a boxing dummy, but if you can earn it's approved, you can enter the power house. Let's use some fucking beats. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, can go take the first beasts. I'm sorry, are you alright? What happened? Uh, it's evil sorcerer's magic. We'll be trapped if you get caught in it. Sorry, the light's broken and this expert here isn't anywhere near as good as he claimed. Didn't it just light up? I never said such a thing. Oh, it's you. It's alright. You're a good sorceress. But that bright light really hurts hurt my eyes. No deny your expert. I will never. It's not what you told Galvana. You mean the thing about the Fountain Research Institute? Well, I didn't get time to read. Horses that uh, nice boxes from evil into good. Turning off, I swear it's very dangerous because my attraction is the evil sorcerer. Protections on safety. Safe. Uh, let's get out of here before those biggest sorcerers cover us. Should we go into the Bawal house? Hill guest, our adventure is almost at an end. The coupon cafeteria is our final stop. So, the ultimate destination of adventuring is a good meal. Not bad, right? Adventures take a toll on your body, so eating afterwards is a must. Hey, what's up? That's right, and I've never seen someone as small as Miss Pymo. You are even smaller than Miss Seguin. Uh, you should eat more so you can grow bigger. I think Paimon's fine just the way she is. The thought of Paimon growing up, uh, it might, it, that gives me a headache. You're probably thinking about something rude right now, aren't you? Let's talk to Bran and see if we'll get something good. Hey, I'm good. Yep, it'd be nice if it was a delicious taste of Rago. Oh. Okay. Greetings, Bran. Greetings, what can I do for you? I'll have a free meal, please. Two free meals, please. I'll have 500 free meals. Negative. According to the Forts of Merpeat, Coupon Cafeteria Regulations, only one free meal per day shall be permitted per person. I'm getting some for everyone. We're seriously trying to feed everyone here. We just need two. Understood. Enjoy. I have one too. Understood. Enjoy. Trainers, Miss Pymo. Uh, let's open our music together, right? 3, 2, 1. Wow, mine is that's Rago. What did you two get? Is there a pot? I'll cook my own meal. Certainly looks like food. I'll cook my own meal. Pymo doesn't want to eat anymore. No, I'm not a full time streamer. I. Try to play some days during the week. Hey, I'm good. So, I got the only good meal. Will there be enough if split into three portions? There's even a fortune sign. What do yours say? I'm a fortune says, luck only brings fleeting pleasure. Lifelong happiness requires hard work. Uh, now, I'm almost mad. Hey. hey, it's doing great. How about you? Uh, things happen, don't take it personally. Just wow. 
My sense is misfortunes and illness, and can friends are the cure. The two of you went on adventures with me, so you're definitely caring friends. But you got the disgusting meals. The sorcerer said that I must remember to pay for it, so now it's my turn to cure you. Let's go to the Ragbone shop. Can't really cook our own food here, can we? Oh, I think there is a pot there. Yep. Hello, Albert. Hey, Skylar. Wanna Fonta? We just got a new shipment. How about your friends? So, this is the Rag Bone shop. You have coupons, we have everything from home supplies to Hydro Phantasm Tank Be Gone. To devices that can help you in the Prankton Ring. Our wares are trusted and loved by all in Sundry. You name it, Ragamon Shop has it. I think some Hydro Phantasm Tank Be Gone. Devices that help? What do you mean? They are for regulars only, or if you happen to have friends who are, are regulars, I suppose I can show them to you. Ah, uh, thanks, but I'm not needing anything right now. Uh, the special items must be pre-ordered though, or if you're lucky enough, you might find what you want on the for sale list. We do have the other stuff stuck at all times, so back to my question, how about some Fanta? Uh, I want everything in Uncle Alvar's store. That's not going to be a problem, let's see, we're almost through with this shipmate, and only food and drinks are left, but they will cost you a good number of coupons. Really, I sure won't be a problem. Problem? You mean coupons? Kerry gave me tons a ton of them. So, I should have enough. The food and drinks here are really great. You're going to love them, Miss Paimon. Kara said that coupons make unfair things fair. Not only I got delicious tests Rago at the coupon cafeteria. And that was unfair. So, now I'm going to use my coupons to buy something delicious for the two of you. Time to eat then. Something else of you, right? I have Twitter, but i not not very active there. But it's the same nick as the as here in Twitch. But Lanora said there are plenty of delicious foods and drinks. As Shen said that hunger and gross food reduce our work efficiency and put us in a bad mood. Uh, we're going to see Kater soon, and we wanna. We're in a good mood when we see him. That's why we need to fill our stomachs with delicious food. Reckon on you, Uncle Alvarez. Oh. Why everything sold out? Oh. Oh, even those. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. Sure, thank you for the business. Yolanda says so, we'll dig in. Yep, have a good meal, Miss Pamo. Peace with Yolanda, everything you couldn't be finished, chains up. Uh, that was amazing. Pamo's so full, she can barely walk. She's gonna sleep at you. Why are you here again? Uh, if you can remember, then maybe it was important. Why are you here, Lanoir? That's a strange question. I've always been here. But remember this now. We're supposed to be looking for Kater. Let's go, but I don't know if he's there. If not, we can wait. He might be back soon. Welcome to Ragamon shop. Have everything. Oops. 
We don't have anything right now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not really sure I have everything that's here. Uh, yeah, that I'm pretty sure I don't have. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe once I have money coupons to buy them. Then he will place an order. Oh, I don't know where. Ah, oh, down there. So let's teleport. He always tells me stars in the evening. He doesn't come back soon. Just a bit. He'll be back soon. Sounds like great brother. Anchor is really good at their stars. Oh, look at my braids. He braided them for me too. Oh, it happened to be here. Okay, there, I'm back. Mm. Welcome back, Lenora. Looks like you made some friends. Yes, there, Mr. Ignis and Miss Pymo. Miss Pymo is small and she can fly, but she's not a bird. She's not a silly either. There are no cities here. Maybe a small ocelot. No wonder no one has seen anything like her or knows anything about her. Pymo's Pymo. That's right, Pymo's just Pymo. She's not a city or an ocelot. Wait, you're a cater. Uh, you look about the same age as Lanora. Nice to meet you, Mr. Ignus, Miss Pymo. Please call me. Ah, so it is Cutter. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Uh, please don't be so formal. That feels so strange. Since you are Lanor's friends, sure, I can do that. Wait a minute. We've heard the name Caterpillar before, have we? have? Maybe from someone somewhere? We have? From who? Oh, that's right. Julian, the painter we met in Samudra Coast. Do you remember him? So you're the Caterpillar he mentioned. Yeah, kind of remember the guy, but I don't remember his story. You met Juliet. He really went to Sumeru, huh? How is he? Interesting. I that was an optional quest. I didn't have to have met him before this one. Well, you tell him about your meeting with Julian Sumeru. According to Julian, his ability to paint everything is exactly as he sees it came from you. Did you really give him that power? Is that really what he said? I can't decide if he was exaggerating. Wait, so was he lying? But the painting he made for Pepper looked so real, even though the color was a bit off. That was an ability he already had. What I did was give him certainty. The purer the person, the more obvious the effect of such support is. Pure, um, well, he did look kind of gullible. And as for the marvelous egg bird, I don't remember that. And the tea leaves that activate the imbibers potential, I don't remember. That was part of his quest. That was so long ago. They are good for your health when consumed in moderation. I didn't know that he would break his certainty like that. I guess you could say that things turn out for the best, though. Anyway... Oh, just now I noticed. What's wrong with his hands? Anyway, both you and Lanor are children, right? So, is your guardian here? Why are the two of you in a place like this? Uh, Keter is not a child. Indeed, I am not. As for my present appearance, you can think of it as an illness of sort. Oh, so that's how it is. I've been here for a long time, well, because of what I've done in the past. But it's more complicated for Lanor. She was born here. Yeah, I figured. Here in the fortress. You're a strange one, Miss Pymo. I've already told you that I've always been here, haven't I? Agnes, her mother, was plagued by a chronic illness and passed away some time ago. Uh, I don't stick my nose into other people's lives, so I don't know about their situation, 
But regardless, Lenoir wound up with no one to care for her. Maybe it's because I've been here for a long time and Lenoir has taken to me, but either way, Estienne is asked me to look after her. So that's how it is, but she shouldn't be here, right? It's not like she's done anything wrong. You're right, I'm just looking after her for now, and she really should be with her family. Unfortunately, she does indeed have family outside the fortress. So that's what she meant when she said she has a home that she doesn't know about. Will she be able to reunite with them soon? About that, things are a little complicated, and I'm afraid it won't happen all that soon. How come? Because she doesn't have any proof of identity. Maybe Agnes didn't think of that either. She was the one who who needed to start the process and to send Lanoir away from the fortress. Come on, what if she died at birth? Somebody else should be able to deal with that. How about her other family members? Essen said that Agnes wrote them in the past, but that she never received a reply and thus stopped trying out together. If they knew about the current situation, they might change their minds. That's why I want to take her to her family, and if they don't want to take her in, we'll figure something else out then. Why can I stay here? Sure, there's an evil sorcerer, but there is a good sorcerer, and you're here, here too. I don't want to leave. Mother never, came, Mother never came back after leaving the fortress. If I leave, does that mean that I'll never come back, just like my mother? And I'd never see you again either, Carter. And it's left. I don't think Lanora can comprehend what happened. Uh. Either way, there's no place for a child to grow up. How will I sp sprout bloom without sunlight? You should get out of this place, Lanora. You've heard all the stories already. There's a real world outside and a family that you are connected to. I'll go with you, so you needn't be afraid. Oh, I thought you were here under arrest. Uh, I believe you. You never liked me. But how will we get, a, get her out without proof of identity? Is there anything we can do to help? Is there some loophole or backdoor we can use? There are options, but they're too risky. How about this then? Let's follow the rules, albeit not that strictly. How will that work? Every so often, Essen will bring a few people with him to do some work outside. We use this chance to get Lenora back to her family. I don't know, I think we could very well just take her outside. Rustley seemed like a sound guy. He would let us out with her. She doesn't have any pro identification to begin with, and the disappearance of someone who never existed on paper isn't exactly going to make news here in the fortress. You aren't talking about a coupon millionaire, are you? Paimo remembers Esther saying that whoever gets the most coupons within a time limit will win, there is a win the chance to go outside. Oops, our coupons went straight to our stomachs. Oh, Eleanor spent a ton more cleaning the Dragon Bone shop out. We're sure to lose now. What are we going to do? We won't lose. If Carter says we win, we'll definitely win. Eleanor, Prime suspects you aren't grasping the gravity of the situation at all. Can we get the coupons refunded? We can't just say that she is a child who didn't understand the rules. Sorry, we just have to wait for the next opportunity. No. As the trans transaction already took place, I'm afraid that won't be so easy. It's fine. The coupons I gave to Lenore were for her to use as she pleased. This little mishap won't change the outcome. Pamela still feels kind of bad though. Why don't we help you? Pamela remembers this and saying that, we can, that you can play the game for, as a group. Uh, really, Miss Pamela, you and Mr. Indus will play the game with us too? Yep, and we'll win this thing together. We just consider this a commission with advanced rewards. With us here, this will be a piece of cake. There are four of us after all. Still, how can we get the most coupons in the least amount of time? I already feel much better knowing that you'll be helping us. Thank you both. As for how to get the coupons, I have a few ideas, but that can wait until tomorrow. 
You must be exhausted. If you don't mind, why don't you rest up first? There's enough space here. Good idea, Ignus. If you're tired, why don't you call it an early night? Mm. Sir Ignus, Miss Paimon, and I uh, try a really wonderful tasting fountain. Uh, Miss Paimon drank the whole lot of it, but she didn't drop down at all. She must know a lot of powerful magic then. Yeah, Miss Paimon is so strong. What about that? Read. <coughs> Read and read some common knowledge easily understandable to children. Uh. A purple pressed flower stuck between the pages. There are some storybooks, detective novels, and a collection of papers published by the Fountain Research Institute. I'm feeling a little tired, should we rest now? Stress, there's something else I want to ask about. Can I ask something else? I can ask them. They were just talking between themselves. Yeah, same thing. Let's rest. Kara, what a story you're going to tell me today. I already heard a lot of stories with heroes as the main characters. Today I'll tell you a story about a little girl then. Little girl? Then uh, can a little girl also be the main character? Of course you can. It's her own story after all. In other stories she might be a hero herself or even an evil dragon. There are all kinds of roles she can play. Long, long ago, there was a little girl who lived in a giant's garden. The giants took special care of the flowers in the garden and wouldn't allow anyone to pluck even a single one of them. To keep it the out, the giants built a towering wall around it. Because of this, the little girl living in the giant's garden had never set foot outside of it even once. The giants always told her that the world outside was a dangerous place and that the garden was the safest place she could live in. And, what? and then what? Did the little girl listen to the giant? Bet she didn't. If she did, the story wouldn't hear. Wouldn't there. You're right, the little girl never was one for doing what she was told. Uh -huh. As for the rest of the story, well, let's save that for the next time. Where did Caterpillar and Lanora go? Did we overslap? Sleep. Uh, let's look for them. <laughs> Oh, it seems like we've come at a bad time. And uh, Kara's being taken by the old sorcerer. What's the wrong doing here? Huh. What? Uh, if not mistaken, it must be Inus and Paimon. I'll come back to your question in a moment. I consulted the records from the last hundred years and I couldn't find any record of a caterpillar. In light of this possible mislaying of documents, we'll need your cooperation to recreate them. There's nothing pressing about the matter, if you ask me. What's the rush about? Asian, I often get the impression that you couldn't care less about restoring order to this place. I can't agree with your viewpoint. Uh, people who actually indulge their every win just can't see too much of freedom actually does them harm. I'll restore order to this chaos using my own methods. I'll advise you again not to stand in the way of my work. Chaos, isn't that just another word of thinking on your feet? Uh, you know what, forget it. Scatter Pillar, your real name. Additionally, I'll need you to state your crime in as your crime in as much detail as possible. Uh, the time, location, as well as the final sentence pronounced. The more details you provide, the greater the likelihood we'll have of retrieving your records. If your file was indeed lost, we can fill in a portion of your records based on your statement. I've been called Caterpillar for as long as I can remember. I think this name suits me best. Uh, and it's the closest thing I have to a real name. 
real name, Caterpillar, confirmed to be correct. Uh, next, state of crime. I carried out a certain task under my master's orders. I failed, but some people suffered because of it nonetheless. This was my crime. Your master, I'll need their full name. Also, when did this occur? Unlike me, he has many names. This happened a long time ago. Oh. Are you messing with me? Everything I said is the truth. His voice sounds too low to be that of a child. I apologize. Were you looking for more dramatic accounts or for some lurid details to ignite your imagination? As for what happened that day, I count I could recount it's sparing no detail from the furnishing of the clandestine hall to the thoughts of my companion, which I've ventured to speculate on. But that's all just a fabrication of the mind made, uh, made after the fact. We both know that's not what you're really after. For these are nothing more than stories masquerading as the truth. The real story has already turned to smoke along with the barren that bar guard. What you want to know is a pure truth. The truth that is that the culprit is where he should be. The other minutiae and trivialities are of no significance to you. They are inconsequential and thus won't shake up your order in the slightest. There is nothing here for you to trouble yourself with. Everything is as it should be. The culprit is where he should be. There's nothing here for me to trouble myself with. Everything is as it should be. Compared to the temporarily missing file, surely the misuse of the Rochelle loudspeaker is a more obvious problem. Apart from the unauthorized use, we've also received a number of complaints recently of nervous breakdowns caused by its repeated use. The right I send the guards have an even greater duty to put a stop to this sort of rule breaking. We should investigate the matter immediately. What are we waiting for then? Let's get this show on the road. That's odd. Why did he flip at the drop of a hat? There's something fishy about this. Could it have something to do with the stuff Caterpillar said? I just felt a little sleepy when he, she said that. She said it. And let's just ask him directly. Was he friends with Jacob a long time ago? Or somebody else? Sorry for the delay. About the way I said I got the coupons earlier. What did you do to him? Someone that aggressive doesn't seem like the time to take advice from anyone. Why would he give up so easily? Just a few small tricks. The culprit is where he should be. This is an undeniable fact. Making someone as straightforward as him certain of an undeniable fact isn't exactly hard. Like the time with Julian. Uh, that's right, just like the time with Julian. I've been here for a long time, as you know. After staying in one place for a long time, it's only natural to pick up a few handy tricks to exert some degree of influence over your your environment. Almost too handy, I'd say. Sounds a little suspicious. Changing a stubborn person's mind with just a few simple phrases almost sound like magic. Could there have been times when we were also influenced by magic without even knowing it? Consider how pure-hearted you are, Paimon. That is a worrying thought. Would someone even realize that they're being influenced? Uh, Pam was already a bit sleepy, but now her head is totally spinning. It's not as simple as it looks. There are always limits to the application of tricks like this, and the results aren't always what you hope for. It's just like with Julian. He always had a knack for art, but he lacked confidence because of his visual impairment. The certainty that he could draw well was inside him to begin with. But in other cases, the concept of certainty is just too abstract, making it difficult to predict the outcome. So I did take a chance this time, and just thought that if he held us up here, it would keep delaying the plane 
to get Lanoir out of the fortress. Besides, I doubt you wanted to be questioned by him repeatedly either. You shouldn't take chance like this, like that. Well, you got no, you got to take chance to give your goal. You're absolutely right. Back to the matter of a hand. If you've changed your mind and want to get to back out, I understand completely. Lanora may be sad for a time though. For her, playmates like you are hard to come by. I uh, already made a promise to her, so we can't just back on our word now. Promise a promise, this doesn't mean I trust you. No, promise a promise. He's fine. Yeah, consider this our way of helping her out. Speaking of which, where is she? She went on an adventure early this morning, probably to rehearse for what's to come after she leaves this place. It's just as well, I'll have a few headaches to, to go take care of soon. You can usually get a reward for helping others, including the guards. Take care of some headaches. Uh, we totally get that. Sounds just like some of the Adventurers Guild's commission. I see. Would you jo to join me on this next commission then? Sure. Where are you going? The abandoned production zone in the lower levels. No one comes here anymore after the geode mine shaft was closed. And the devices here are meant for just anyone to handle. And that's exactly what happened this time. Someone tinkered with the drive valve and trapped their own companion. Anyway, let's get it open. Let's get it to open up the passage to supply warehouse one. By the way, if you offer if they offer you a drink, you'd best say no. Why? I was going to offer us a drink, and why won't we be taking it? You'll find out soon enough. <laughs> oh. What's the directional connection control drive for? A mechanical device which is exceedingly complex to operate. It can open and close the paths that lead from the abandoned production zone in various directions. When activated, the Arrowhead equipped core gear drive train and the gear drive train will turn. Operate the device when the arrows are pointing in the opposing directions to cause the device to stop spinning, upon which the path indicated by the core gear drive train arrow will open. Huh? I kind of advice, which is uh same text. Yeah. Okay. Uh we can from there. Okay, several doors. What about those? Oh. Uh. Okay, let's Okay, let's leave it where it was. Run. Read. 
일단은 해고 이런 거 없지. 어, 스 나. make sure you got the gear that t r a i n we need a leader we can only get one both look the same but it should look a bit different the one we can get read from today all work related to the jode mine shaft has been suspended and the Connecting paths have been sealed. If you require one of the connecting paths to be open for official fortress business, you must operate the drive valve only under the supervision of a technical expert to prevent accidents. Um, drive valve operation safety manual. The drive valve can be used to rotate, open, and close the connecting paths for each area. The drive valve control where both the Core drives are removable and the gear drive train removable. The non removable core gear drive controls the central room, while the gear drive train controls the direction of each connecting path. When operating, take note that when the direction indicated by the core drive gear is opposite to that indicated by the gear drive train, the path indicated by the core gear drive will be opened. When all four gear drive trains are installed, the drive valve will automatically terminate operation. Uh, specification for opening each connecting path are as follows. Warehouse 1. Ah, and that's where we should go, anyway. Show the mine shaft. Energy storage warehouse. Supply warehouse 2. Additionally, a new locking device has been deployed in the j o l e m i n e shaft to prevent operational mishaps. The research terminal's energy storage device has been temporarily removed. An authorized access by the m i n e s t a t i o n personnel is p r o v e d that violators will be held responsible for their actions. Okay, there may be some quests that leads me elsewhere, or t h e y just chests. But anyway. I think we opened the, the path I had to take, anyway. It's interesting, but also quite boring too. <laughs> Now let's take that. If I teleport out of here, I... Uh, no, this probably sh would respawn anyway back there. Otherwise I would get stuck. Uh, Mito, are you alright? I hope you weren't trapped for too long. My savior, you're finally here. Where's Koblenz? He's not with you. He told me about trapping you here and asked me f asked for my help, but he left because a guard interrupted us. I knew he wasn't reliable. He probably went away because he felt guilty. I mean, how do you make money in your business if you don't take risks? Uh, he was clumsy and too cautious. To boot, I mean... Pure water is one thing, but even Fonta is available nowadays. If Fonta is here, how are you supposed to survive? 
uh, what you like font too don't you like font it's just about all right customer with date I see anyway I have to settle this with Koblenz by the way has he paid you nope sometimes I want to stuff him in a large bucket they'll make him reflect on what's what he's done anyway please take these coupons take them you too if you would what you want us to take all of it of course thank you then uh, we can go to the dragon bone shop later to see if they have anything new aren't we saving those by the way i'd like to apologize for dragging you into this uh, i have some fresh health drinks would you like a bottle fresh health drinks yep healthier in than pure water in fact i'll take one i have fonta i'll take one hey did caterpillar really tell you uh not to take one yeah i forgot about that already no it didn't mean it we already had a lot of drinks before coming here but paimon bets these drinks are good we will make sure to try one next time bad time uh huh well come back when you get a chance it'll be my treat Anyway, I must go talk to Cobras now. I have something else to take care of, so I need to get going. Uh, don't worry too much about the coupons. I'll put the clues I come across on the blackboard. Uh, let's meet up later. See you later. Public commissions and fortress should obtain coupons. Uh, oh, we're almost there already. Uh, but I'm kind of curious, what was, what was wrong with his drinks? The scent of treasure. Memo. Um, Bill fruit juice, rainbow rose distillate, blue lotus distillate, cinnamon honey, tetalga, condensed crystal powder, made cobblins the guinea pig. <laughs> he puked and got the runs. Uh, then was laid up in the infirmary for three whole days. I'm sure it's because Fontaine plants aren't healthy enough. I ought to replace the rainbow rose with some more rose and employ lotus with the lotus pala lotus. Okay, Koblenz refused point blank to try again no matter what. Spain 280 credit coupons to get De La Sox to test the drink. Feedback wasn't bad, he said he felt quite perky after just one sip. So I'm on the right track. I can cut the bullfruit juice out, though, since it's a little more than flavoring. Not like I'm making fault anyway. Okay, the yellowish green ore outside looked better than Condensed Crystal. I got a small piece near the storehouse and ground it up to replace the Condensed Crystal powder. Try it, it has a rich, distinct flavor. This wholesome healthy drink sure to be a success this time. He tested himself. I'm not sure what effect it will have, but how poison can we get in this game? Um, yeah, let's just report back. Let's complete the quest here. If there is anything, then we check there. Otherwise, I may be sent back there after opening the one the doors. I have to go for the mechanism again. Mr. Anus Spymon, we've fallen way behind. It's true, I've gone to ask Essien about the current situation. Oh, and this seems to be the case. Uh, let me see. Oh, looks like you got some coupons too, Caterpillar. Wait. Aren't we still the less? Under face, 800, imports, raves, kids team. Even Darcy is ahead of us. He entered the competition by himself, didn't he? How can this be happening? Because he helped the guards take care of no small number of nuisances. For example, Miss Monglain uh, often asks him for help. But, Paimon says, wait a minute, does that mean he was so nice to us at the start because he could gain something from it? Also, won't we lose for sure if this keeps up? 
Uh, if only Paimon had eaten so much at Rag and Bone shop earlier. No matter. All that counts is total number of coupons collected within the time limit. Using coupons you already have doesn't affect the total amount. Hmm. That means you can eat even more, Miss Paimon. So, but how do the guards keep track of coupons you already have saved with you? The coupons she already... Well, you can't show it to them, but... Previous, previously owned coupons could be presented then. Um, Lanora, our problem right now is that we're about to lose the competition. Aren't you guys the, uh, the least bit worried? There's still plenty of time left before the end. We'll make it. Today was exhausting. Let's keep going tomorrow. It was fine. We're going to take the lead straight from last place. Now I'm motivated. And that does that does like your typical motivational story. Uh, sure, but can we really pull it off? You have to believe in yourself more, Miss Paimon. The heroes of the story are all sure of themselves. That's why they are the main characters. Mm, you're right, Lanora. We're going to win this thing. Tomorrow, we divide and conquer. We'll reconvene here once we make some gains. Sounds good. We'll make better time this way. Indeed, that sounds like a better plan. Also, if you don't mind, we can rest here. Uh, just like before. Sure, Inus, you can take a break now if you're tired. Mm. I was chatting with Miss Monglane, she said that Nathan is nothing like Fontaine. Ah, it's she's from Fo Nathan. Uh, and that she really wants to take a dip in a volcano hot spring. A volcano? Is that a flaming mountain? The mountains are super tall mounds of rock and dirt, right? Mm. You get to see all these things for yourself after this place, whether it's volcanoes or anything else. Then let's just explore this place together, Kater. Uh, let's invite Mr. Ignis and Miss Paimon too, they'll definitely like that. Can we check the board? Reading some common knowledge? No, I thought there will be tasks written here. Should we rest now? Yeah. Come on. Uh, can you tell me more about of the story about the little girl? Last time we left off with the little girl living in the giant's garden. I bet she leaves the giant's garden. Well, how does she get out of there? One day, the little girl heard the sound of a woman's voice coming from behind the towering wall. Kind of hard to giant. I am in need of the little purple flowers from your garden. Would you please give me some? The giant refused, of course, and furiously bellowed at the woman on the other side of the garden wall to leave at once. But the woman did not leave, and from a short distance away, she lamented that she had journeyed from afar for the little purple flowers in the garden, which she needed to cure a sick friend's illness. Hearing the woman's plight, the little girl felt sorry for her and her friend. The giant had so many flowers in his garden, surely having one or two less wouldn't hurt. Thus, the little girl approached the garden wall and whispered to the woman that she was willing to bring the woman a few of the little purple flowers. Except, the little girl said, the giant wouldn't let her leave, and the garden's walls were too tall that she wasn't sure how she would be able to get the flowers to her from inside. From the other side of the wall, the woman told the little girl that she was actually a witch that knew many magic spells, and if the little girl could bring her the flowers she needed from the giant's garden, she could use her magic to help the little girl leave the garden. Did the little girl decide to help the witch? Mm, I bet she did, otherwise the witch wouldn't be able to cure her friend's illness, right? But but the giant said she couldn't leave the garden. If she left, wouldn't she get punished somehow? It's getting late, let's leave that part of the store for next time. They're not here, we should go through the commissions. There were coupons, right? 
Of course, Caterpillar probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but he left us some clues. Uh, the entrance to the rift of erosion. We'll take our chances. Maybe we'll even be able to get some coupons. Looks like Caterpillar left us. Coupon breakups follow. Just that. Uh, <laughs> Rift of Erosion. Oh, come on. Uh, that was the entrance. Breaking Bone. Duke's Office. Warfare Mules. I don't know, it could be one of the other parts, could be this area here. No, that's outside. I don't know, let's check the... the path. Oh. Uh... Is that part of it or another quest? It was. It said the interest give the rift of erosion. Okay, I hope that's it. Hello, what is it? Oh, please help us, good sorcerers. <laughs> is there anything we can help with? Uh, why are you talking to me like Lanra? Just get to the point. Uh, we need lots of coupons. Are there any jobs we can take? You didn't enjoy a sense game, did you? You should know when to stop. Nonetheless, there is something that I need your help with. Clients should be repairing this device or whatever it is by the rift of erosion. Okay, I didn't know that was the name of the place. Uh, go help him out, would you? Just ask him for comp compensation, he won't object. I will take care of it. It's rift of er erosion is actually the name of that place. Shouldn't it be properly marked on the map instead of just looking around the whole fortress. Far. Yeah, I think that the right time we're just down there in the tunnel. Calvana. Is something wrong? I don't know. Huh, there's someone who looks just like you. You you've met Galvar yet. She's my younger sister. We're twins. Uh she's too old to keep calling me sis all the time. Uh, please don't take it the wrong way. I don't dislike her at all. It's just these are workplace, and we should be more serious when it's work hours. Ah, oh, I got something there. But the rift of erosion. Yes, it is definitely a potential danger. Ooh, would you also agree? It would be better to sew it off. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. That's not what I said. I'm in favor of setting up all entrances and exits. Uh, not, not that I think about it, it's n not that small space. It would be great if we could put well, to good use. I don't, not sure what did I get. Mm, I'm in favor of setting up all entrances. So up all entrances and exits, that's a little extreme. I never thought you would advocate doing something like that. You really can judge a book by its cover. And about searchlights. Which searchlights? Searchlights seem to break frequently. Uh, it may be because of the energy storage device stalled inside them. Or maybe they break so often because people don't follow the instructions when they use them. Okay. 
you're the guy from before. Just in time, come help me. Out. Uh, you can remind, that's scary. We won't do this for free though. Gavari had said it us to help you, but how did you know that? Because you're the only ones here to help. And that makes sense. Anyway, the test is not anything difficult. The research terminal here requires two people to operate it simultaneously. And I've already entered the commands. Just walk over and pull the lever. I almost forgot, the charging device should be nearby. Please install the charging devices first before starting. And just to double check, you're not machine killers, are you? It depends on how you define machine killers. If the research terminal attacks me, then I guess I am. Why do I ask? I asked Galvana for help last time, and even though I only looked away for a moment, when I looked back, the terminal was already destroyed. I asked her what happened, but she couldn't tell me. I found out from her sister later that no machines can survive under her for more than half a day. Even a lame guillotine would have given up on her, I suspect. Uh, even the repair fee was deducted from my compensation. If you're just like her, then all my hard work would be in vain. What a story, we're definitely not like her. Don't worry. I'm calling on you then. Searchlights here. No, no, no. Ah. Oh. I thought I just had to activate that. No. Looking good, if you weren't in a place like this, I would have hired you as my assistant. This is too easy, by the way. What does this vice do? Uh, there was a rift uh, that connected to the outside and it had to be watched. Now we can just seal the passage with this device and save manpower. It's nothing new to the Fontaine Research Institute anyway, but since I have plenty of time, I modified it a little. What you're seeing now isn't even its final form, which was actually deployed at the Geode Mine Shaft. Uh, I think I spoke too much. Just pretend you didn't hear anything. So there are exits in the Joe's mine shaft. Is the final version more powerful? No. Right, there's smart one. But if you were smarter, you wouldn't have kept that. You would have kept that yourself and not blurted it out. Anyway, problem solved. Galvan no longer needs to come down too often, and I can take a break. Ah uh, yes, I almost forgot about our compensation. Thanks for the help. I thought I had to activate that. I just... He could have done that by himself. Okay, now I th feel like I should have looked over there before. Ah, is that the green crystal that uh, the guy used in his string? <laughs> Does that live? Uh, I don't think that are cave. I can really see there. Uh, this leads elsewhere. There's no really connected here. Oh, I should have checked that before. I didn't know I was going to seal that off. Uh, but what now? Am I s Let's check back the chalkboard. <laughs> uh, 
The dormitory block may roll. Maybe we'll even be able to get some coupons. Okay. Dormitory block may roll. Uh, what's in the mail room next yep. to the infirmary? Yeah. Am I at the right? Uh, I think it's here. The sound there. Yeah. Step on up. Ah, if it's her. Next time she says time off, sir, I'll stay dreaming, do you need something? No, I just want to know if you... Oh, speaker pipes... Someone who looks just like you. Uh, it didn't cause any problems. Problems, it just leave them for to fix, did you? If you did, then she has to do overtime because of you. Uh, then I'll keep her company. No, this. What is here? Yeah, it is where I pointed first. Oh, what was here? Oh, yeah, this was our dormitory. Mm, hang on, please search me in here. It makes sense for her to usually be here, but... Oh. Uh, oh no, it's not her. Were you arrested? Hello, are you looking for Sejuin? I'm afraid she's not here right now. Are you one of the inmates here too? No, I'm not. Though a Melusine who committed a crime would be punished the same as human. Uh, it so happens that I am an innocent citizen. In fact, it's practically the opposite. I'm a member of the Marshalsi Phantom, but it's my day off, so I came here to speak of a friend, that's all. Uh, so a friend of the of the heart nurse. Yeah, and her infirmary is quite spacious. It's perfect for us to get together and chat over milkshakes. Sijuin's vision is much closer to human than most melusines. We all like to hear her describe the surroundings and then draw them. Ah, so she doesn't see all those red colors. But as we are still in the Fortress Mirapid, we have to keep things low key. The terrain here is quite complex, uh, but that's ideal for smaller types to move about without anyone noticing. That's very impressive. Oh, since your praise is well deserved, I'm very happy to accept it. Uh, why don't I return the favor? I found this while I was swimming nearby. Uh, pretty, isn't it? What? Uh. Kids these days, you just can't run. December. <laughs> okay, anyone help me, please. I'm begging you. Help this poor soul. Are you right? Oh, thank goodness. Finally, some kind people. You see, it's my son's birthday tomorrow, and I like to send him a letter. But to get a letter sent out to the fortress of Mirapi, you have to go up here. And I don't have time for that. And why not? There was a major safety incident in the production zone, so I have to get there immediately. I was hoping someone could stand in line for me, but... Uh, I know this is what I deserve, but my son is innocent. Why should he have to pay for my crimes too? All I want to do is send him a letter so he knows his father hasn't forgotten his birthday and loves him very much. But I can't even do that. Poor guy, we'll help him, won't we? You will? Uh, I don't have much in the way of money on me right now, but I'll be sure to pay a fair price for a trouble based on the market average. The market average. Yes, I've lined up for other people before, so I know the going rate. It's alright, don't sweat it, we're happy to help. Thanks so much, you're a great people. Oh, and I forgot to ask your names. I'm Samber, and you? Paimon's Paimon, he's Enos, we're adventured buddies. 
Now it's good to meet you, Paimon. Use, use the letter. Just send it to loot over there. Your lifesavers. And don't worry, we'll take care of it. The same relief in a hurry after hanging over the ladder. A long time passes before you and Pyme notice that the shark quill has moved an inch. You could have you could be here a while. Suddenly your attention is drawn to a conversation between two people behind you. I'm exhausted, me. Uh this is taking forever. And the air is is so stuffy here. I can barely breathe. Thank you, yeah. Kid, welcome to the infamous lowest school in the Fortress of Mirapi. Surprise, you've never heard of it. Lutz has a tendency to slow things down by embellishing the letters as he types them out. Can't help himself. Then, of course, we have to check through them all over again to make sure we're happy with it. Blah blah blah. Are you kidding me, guys? I'm going weak, Danny. Uh, hang in there, buddy. If it pass out, you won't have to start all over again tomorrow. It's happened before, you know. One guy's on his third visit and he still managed to send his letter. He still hasn't managed. Third visit? I guess it sucks to be him. Uh, it, I'll bet it does. It takes a special kind of bad luck to fail three times in a row. He's a legend in the Mirapiquil community. We call him Unlucky the Zamper. Uh, if you're interested, I can tell you more about him. To be honest, I'm not really in the mood. Oh, come on, cheer up. Anyway, it's always, it always started the day before yesterday. It was sweltering hot that afternoon. And I said I'm not, uh, whatever, carry on. The same break came to me that afternoon saying he had to line up to alert the following day. He asked me if I could cover his shift as a porter in the coupon cafeteria. I was going to say no because it sounded like more trouble than it was worth, but he gave me but he gave me the old puppy eyes and said how he's missed his chains the last time because he overslept and how his son was still waiting for his letter. So I took pity on him and agreed to help him out. But guess what I saw when I got off work yesterday? Saw him looking for someone else to cover his work. And the excuse was still the same. He needed to send a letter. So I went over asked him what happened. He said he hasn't learned from his mistakes. Uh, he learned from his mistakes and woke up early in the morning to queue up. But he still didn't manage to send a letter due to unforeseen complications. Don't tell me, he joined the wrong line. No, but that's almost as funny as what actually happened. He skipped breakfast to get in line early, but by the afternoon he was running on empty and he started to lose it. He tried to push through, but suddenly everything went black and there was a loud thud. He was all cold and by the time he regained consciousness, they were closed for the day. Um, what a loser. Wait, did I... I don't think I had anything to eat early either. Crumbs, now my stomach's starting to grow. Oh. Uh, did they say Mr. Tsamber? I didn't realize what we lined up for. Good thing we always have food with us for emergencies. Yep, and Paimon too. Because you're always hungry. Mm, that didn't very nice, but Paimon can put her finger away. Uh, queuing for a long time, gets tedious and tiring, you start to forget your purpose here. Only the occasional background noise and chatter serves to remind you that. And despite how it feels, time is indeed moving. I feel lightheaded. Man, I really hope I don't have to do this all over again tomorrow. Eat this, you need something in your stomach. Next time, remember to bring food and water when you go on a long queue. Uh, thank you, but it's crazy that you're talk talking about this hill like it's a marathon. Uh, listen up, maggot. This is the most brutal godforsaken slice of hell in the whole fortress of Merpid. It makes Pancration look like walking in the park. But, but it's just... Every quiver knows, worth their salt knows to open properly before 
committing to join the line. Some people bring a stool for rest breaks, and some of the more hardcore foes uh, have even been known to camp outside the entrance the night before. It's just a kill. Uh, this is no ordinary kill, rookie. This is war. Everyone is expected to give 110%. Even unlucky December has multiple contingency plans. Sadly, the best laid plans are no match for fate. On my way back from the protection zone earlier, I saw him leaving the line and heading in the direction of the coupon cafeteria. So I asked him, hey, aren't you supposed to be in a queue? And you know what his answer was? He's gotten so fixated about him that he forgot the most important thing of all, he didn't bring his letter with him. So he had to leave and come back. I... I really have to meet this guy, sounds like quite a character. Wait, he forgot his letter? Man, December looks really terrible. Wait, then what did he give us? Didn't he give us his letter? Uh, he handed it right to us. Palmer is getting... Is getting to get pretty confused. There are quite some... Mistakes written in this quest. Let's take a peek at it. Beautifully written letter. To my love, my dearest most love light. I know not how many days and nights have passed since our previous trial. My dreams have been my dreams have been filled with longing for your face, so kind, so handsome. It excites me, agitates me to know that I shall be leaving this place and that I shall see you once more. As I said, I will do anything, anything to see you again. And I can no longer, indeed, now one moment more for you to cast me, your humble defendant. And this time, I promise, I swear, you will remember my name. Your admirer, White Lily. Oh, this information is up. I'll have to ask him about it later. Yep, but we'll send this to his son. It's almost our turn, news. Shall we hand the letter? As your turtles are due approaches the end, you reassure yourself that this has all been worth it. But your questions remain unanswered, and chapters close, but the story continues. I'm not sure we're supposed to hand this letter over. It's a letter, do you mind help? Uh, if so, do you mind if I help you polish it a little? Letter, we can do it almost in one fourteen. Uh, I'm going to jump in. Can reach where you want? No. <laughs> hey, it's me. <laughs> I made it just in time. Why are you so out of breath? Just finished up at the abandoned production zone and ran all the way here. So it's done. The letter's been saying great. It was signed White Lily. Oh, so that's the name she gave herself. Alright, to tell the truth, a young woman asked me to send this letter for her. She looks really sick to me. So I agreed. And I didn't even take a single more. I'm paying you for compensation out of my own pocket. Uh, so what the... Uh, what the story? Looking at the contents of the letter, she does seem very sick indeed. Uh, I guess I must have grabbed the wrong letter on my way out. Fiddlesticks. The birthday letter will never get there in time now. Wait, really? So finally got your letter posted, but it was the wrong one? Uh, you really... Living up to your nickname, Simber. Feliz crew mistress. Uh, I love to stay up in chat, but I gotta rush home and get the right letter now. I hope there's still time. Here's a compensation. Pleasure doing business with you. Uh, now to post the blessed letter to my son. See you. Uh, but, but, why do you leave? have to leave? But we still got a ton of questions for him. But didn't we send this letter to his son? Then. 
Never mind. At least we got some coupons. Uh, is that all? Is it's not even one meal's worth. Yes, we're going hungry tonight. We could take another pure commission. Starvation suddenly sounds like a great option. <laughs> There's enough. Should go back. How? How many points do we have? Having fun playing house with the kids. You are. It's pretty fun, to be honest. Looks like I said, really should hold the children's versions. Did you need us for something? We're rivals, you know? Did you really come to see if we're having a good time? I have many qualities, and one is. And one that has been feeding me greatly is my curiosity. I always want to get to the bottom of things I don't understand. So I tend to know the facts better than others. What a coincidence, me too. Looks like we enjoy talking to each other then. I just wanted to know why you decided to take part in this game. If it was for the chance to get out, I have another road I can show you. I like playing games, I like winning even more. I have nothing to say as a compare to a competitor. No. Remain vigilant around your enemies wise, but I'm not necessarily your enemy. What do you mean by that? What I mean is, if you only want to win, then why don't we work together? Uh, but aren't you already in first place? That's precisely why we both stand to benefit. No, uh, wait a minute. We trying to help Lanora out. And the little girl? In that case, if you're willing to join me up, I'll grant any wish you has as well. Sounds too good to be true. Then I'll be frank, it's a matter this is a matter of honor. Caterpillar and I have some unresolved history. I don't know what he said to pull one over on you, but I'm telling you, he's a monster. A monster in human skin. What are you all talking about? And not some sort of rule breaking scheme. I trust. People talk about any anywhere all the time around here. Uh, miss is there... what was it? No, I don't know. Your time couldn't be better. Could I ask you about the results of the investigation into Caterpillar? The majority of his records are missing, but it's fine. The coverage is where he should be, and everything is as it should be. His records are missing, that's impossible. He definitely had a hand in this. The missing records need to be recreated, right? How could I have forgotten about that? Um, right, uh, go finish your test now. I don't want to see you loitering around here. Uh, but then our sentence ended. Can we just come and go as we please? Mr. Agnes, Miss Pyman, welcome back. We brought quite a hole today. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's better. Our current standing should be... Dang it, we only just pull ahead of Darcy. That's great, we're not less place anymore. But there are four of us. Yeah, and we're doing great. Such positivity. Now we're doomed positivity. But are we really gonna be okay like this? We still have two big hurdles ahead of us. You promised me we'd win for sure, right Catter? Uh, that's right, so don't worry too much, you too. I know it may sound strange, but sometimes forgetting about the outcome and enjoying the fun to be had in the process isn't a bad way to go. Okay, if you say so. I was speaking of that, Caterpillar, we received an invitation from the guy who was in first place earlier. He was super rude and he said that you are... Uh... Anyway, it wasn't very nice of him. What happened between you two? Just a few minor differences in opinion, he invited me to join him as well, but having no real reason to accept, I declined his offer. Well, he's kind of an ass, but can we just go with him to win? Later he tried to guess some of his lackeys to teach me a lesson, it's true, I am a monster. 
uh, the kind of people like him will do well not to provoke. Uh, don't say that. Surely you didn't end up this way because you wanted to, right, Caterpillar? If Kara is a monster, then he's one of the good ones. Just like how you are good sorcerers and bad sorcerers. Just like how there are good sorcerers and bad sorcerers. Uh, what's the matter? Are you asleep, Lenoir? Uh, but I haven't heard the rest of yesterday's story yet. If you're tired, you should go for an early night. The Inus, Miss Paimon, will we still meet again tomorrow? Why are you asking that out of sorrow? Uh, if you don't want to be on the same team as us anymore, what are you talking about? Then we say we get first place together. There's still two more teams ahead of us, so we have to make tomorrow count. Yeah, you're right. I'm so sleepy. Let's do our best tomorrow. Sweet dreams, Mr. Eno. Sweet dreams, Miss Paimon. I'm so sleepy. In that case, go get some rest. Okay, but I haven't heard the rest of the story yet. I'll rest after I hear the ink. Same thing. Should we rest now? Yeah. Where we last left her off, the witch told the little girl that she would use her match to help her leave the giant's garden. If the little girl brought her the little purple flower she needed. I'm really sleepy, but I want you to know what happens next. Now, what did the little girl do? Does the witch cure her friend in the end? Although the giant had warned the little girl of many dangers of the world beyond the garden walls, the little girl had never seen what the outside world was like, so she didn't know what danger even was. She told the voice on the other side of the wall that she would help, her, would help bring her some of the little purple flowers. Uh, so many identical flowers were growing in the garden and each looked as beautiful as the next. She didn't know why the giant treasure each and every one of them so. The little girl heard laughter from the other side of the wall. Later, with a bouquet of flowers in her hands, the little girl rolled a gust of wind over the wall to the world outside. The tall witch looked, took the little purple flowers from the little girl's hands. The little girl, thinking she had done a good deed, was very pleased with herself. But when she tried to return to the garden, she discovered that the wall the garden and the giant were no longer there. Good witch, I'd like to return to the giant's garden now. Could you please use your magic to take me back? The little girl asked. But, uh, but what can you give me in exchange now? The witch replied. Uh, then the little girl couldn't go back. I'm glad the witch could serve her friend, but I don't like the story. Everyone has stories they, that they don't like. Then I'll tell you a story next time, Catter. Uh, I have to sleep now. Good morning, we running to coupons today. Or we, we need, of course, be overtaken by Darcy. Uh, let's go look for commissions nearby. Uh, ah, there are more now. Rainbow shop. Or some of the protection zone lower levels. Uh. Coupons. Why just show that text? Okay, I hope we can do both. Um, the where was that shop? It's here. Ah. Uh. Let's go there first, because it's closer, and then we get down there. Mm-hmm. 
Young Warrior will spar with me. Mm, this is super sudden. Whatever you say, let it go to your hair. I can't tell that you're a veteran with just one look. I'm really bored because no one has been sparing with me. If you will, I'll give you coupons. I want a lot of those from Rusimov. And I haven't figured out how to spend them yet. Don't you go to the prankation? Uh, how about it? Sure. Just what I need. I'm a pacifist and I don't like to fight. I can do it right now, maybe later. Just what I need. And good, you're a straight talker. Let's go somewhere spacious. No, we're fine. Follow Mizami to the pancreation ring. So, why didn't we meet him at the pancreation ring? You are ring? not welcome here. I uh, won't go easy on you. There's no. I am, but weren't we not allowed to compete here or something? Well, if you're going to use electricity, Bow your head. I'm not going to go back. I hear everything. Accelerating. I knew it led. You're worth your opponent. You're not bad either. You got so much to go. <laughs> no, let's not be bad. I'm bad with it. Seems I need to work harder. Anyway. I'm a straight shooter just like you. Here are your coupons. Let's do this again sometime. Can I do this again for coupons as many times as I want? No. Okay, so now down there. That's just... Ah, there's a guy here now. I don't think he was here before. <laughs> hmm, this isn't a place to be wondering about. If you don't have any business here, get out. I'll drop my shaft. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit tired. I think it's because of the stones. Have you ever heard anyone talk about how they have mysterious energy? Don't know what the Fontaine Research Institute engineers do with the stones, but they form here, looking like that. Just thinking about them makes me sleepy. Are there stones here? If you can avoid it, don't go over there. Otherwise, I'll need to write a report about the middle gear well, wheel. Uh, that that's uh, an old issue from way back then. Way. Just double touch it, and I don't want my whole world to start spinning while I'm enjoying proper stones. Uh, I mean, I just mean if you do move it, make sure you don't accidentally trap anyone. It's happened before. Not that creatures like humans will ever learn from their mistakes, of course. Hmm. <laughs> ah, there are the stones. Okay, I guess I have to place it here. No. When I place it here, open there. So let's place it here. Just see if it opens there. I don't think so. Will they get you opposite the sides? No. Water comes in many flavors to the discerning palate. Uh. Mondstadt's water is crisp and pure, while water from Liyue has an enduring aftertaste. 
In Inazuma, the water possesses a depth of flavor unlike any other. Sumeru's water, meanwhile, has a rich and complex flavor profile, but it but must the... be savored patiently to fully appreciate it. Place it there. Huh. There's no fresh coal. I don't think that it is right. I can place here yet. Uh, I place this one here and then get this other one. No, no. Damn it! Get out of there! Uh, why does. Is that the thing I'm reading? What is it that I'm reading? It works when it's like that. There's no point to the same side. It's can I make it rotate without? I can. Ah, okay, good then. It is open. Okay. Oh no, it's closed down here now. Oh. Can I just start and then turn it off? Uh, uh, let's wait for another full circle. It was fine from the start. No, this isn't fine. It opened one.
Não, é só se push pro point, assim, pra rush. Posso point down. Uh, damage, this thing is so confusing. It's not... And why can't I place it there? This works. Burn this push to point in different directions. Yeah, here it doesn't show me the others. Uh. this push point in different directions see that bit let's rotate more here in sip it opens now Doesn't okay. I think I got it. Since I'm here and I don't think there'll be more days. No, I thought this would open it. This side. Uh, let's take that off. I'll check the other two slots as well. That works already? Doesn't that need both to work? I think that would be, make more sense to have them all pointing in the same direction. Okay, let's check there. <laughs> oh, I need to bring that with me. Melusines are beautiful creatures. They are the pride of Fontaine. Be sure to befriend them and cause them no harm. Hmm. 
Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first. So, it's legally yours now. There's something else popped up there. This could be a bit faster. I don't have to take it here. The wall is inside of here. Another one, just like that. Chest. Ah, the thing. Maybe I have to power. Let me check here because I don't remember. Okay, no mechanisms. Over here. Ah, okay, so that's where I had. Oh, but there's another one there. Um, no. This will have to be here now, I guess. That was just a lame. Abandoned property belongs to whoever finds it first. So uh, it's legally yours. Should I now. Love that spinning or grab the chests? Back in here, so hide it. Surprise! <laughs> Silence. I think I know what I... Oh, maybe I need somebody that actually punches. But... 
let's try two things. Uh, do I have somebody that actually punches? Shikanoar, uh, Shikanoin. Ele, yeah, there. He punches, and a big sword. Got a problem you can't solve. Clue me in. Ah, it's that thing I was bringing with me. Ah! It wasn't the water one red as well. And it turned blue when I punched it. Damn, man, I try everything here. The scent of treasure. And I try everything else I had with me. Except the I think actually found around here. Yeah, but wasn't the other punching dummy red and it changed when I punched it? Mm, let's see, but I think this won't work yet. I think I have to flip it once more. Okay, apparently I need to complete another part of the quest to do that, to get what I need. But didn't that, the board said I had to. Okay, I'll follow that glowing line to where it's pointing me to see what you do but wasn't this saying north side of production zones lower levels isn't there ah oh went to the level production zones lower levels the production zone is in the lower level I went to the level below the production zone and I guess that was the wrong place then uh, and there are no teleports there no let, let's see where where the things pointing me to ah uh. I wouldn't call this the production zone's lower level. I would call this the production zone. Ah, oh, yeah, there's that. That would be the upper level. Uh, okay. I probably couldn't get that. Anyway, something wrong. Very wrong. Yeah. Something is definitely very wrong with these yellow green stones. I think I'm going to die here. Are you right? In the long run, we'll all be fine. But I'm going to be fine before you are. <laughs> okay, then, sure, bye. Yeah, there's, there's certainly a new way to use the word fine. You don't sound fine at all. No, I'm fine, literally. If something's wrong, it's too late anyway. So, are you right or not? I was very confused. Can you please be more specific? Specifically speaking, when I come to the production zone, I get headaches and heart palpitations, and my hands and feet grow cold. I'm done for. Do you know what I mean? I'm done for. Uh, it must be the yellow green stones. They're evil. You know those stones, right? The Central Laboratory of Fontaine Research Institute. The yellow green stones destroy everything. Please just go see a doctor. Why don't you go rest up in the infirmary? I am a doctor, I know. Wait, I'm no longer a doctor. I lost my certification and I can't give official diagnosis. 
Please find a real doctor with certifications to save me, please. This sounds pretty serious. Let's go find a doctor. Okay, so now we go up there again. Uh, ah, there's one here. Are you in trouble or are others in trouble? Uh, you both look healthy, so you must be the latter. Uh, indeed. Uh, you explain Lich Lace. Uh, him again? Uh, can you treat him? His headache or his delusions? Uh, you mean he's not that sick? Based on his lab results, most likely not. I heard that he misdiagnosed the patient when he was still on the outside, ignoring some early warning results and healthcare outcome. Well, he's been a little paranoid ever since. He's selected the that to others, and worse when it comes to himself. How about the yellow green stones? No one else is having the same health issues, right? But I can very well ignore him, so please give him this. Isn't this pure water? Are you sure? Oh, so you know what this is. Uh, it's fine in the sense that it does no harm in the body, and you give him a boost, so he doesn't know. Uh, <laughs> why not just give him Fonta? Um, and that's the thing, everyone here knows what Fonta tastes like. But based on my knowledge, he hasn't had pure water. After all, it's not very common here. I gave it to him before, telling him it was a health potion. And he did actually show more vigor after drinking it. Alright, no give it to him, if it doesn't work. Then tell him to go lie down in the infirmary. If you tell him it's doctor's orders, he'll listen. Sure, let's go back. Where Mac, the daughter, gave you this. Uh, this lady takes pure water and drinks it all, all of it immediately. Ah, me. That's better. Bigger fills me once again. That's it? I don't think you were sick at all. No, no, I was sick. You brought me the cure. Uh, Arnern is a really good doctor and certified too. The medicine he prescribes always works, unlike mine. Uh, what about the yellow green stones? Suspicious, of course. Uh, I guess his illusions can be help. Uh, now I can keep working. Thank you so much for helping out. Here, take these coupons. Just a little something to show my appreciation. Stay healthy. I've always had to check the letter. Hello? Wow, we sure are popular. Let's be direct, shall we? I was getting deja vu. Did you need something for us? Alright, I'm hoping you join us for launching a protest against Estian. Why? Hmm? Since you are taking part in the game as well, I think you understand my position. The rules should be more open and transparent. What's the catch? The competition should restart when the new rules take in place. What? Wouldn't that make all the hard work we've done so far be for nothing? Now, what's so crazy about that? It happens all the time in academia. <laughs> you realize that there's an error in your thesis or methodology and it completely invalidates the conclusion arrived after years of research. Pretty sure that's nothing like this. Maybe for the next time he runs the game, just play it as it is this time around. Uh, I'm busy, find someone else. No. Indeed, iterating and improving the rules will take time, we may not be able to get them implemented until the next time the game is held. No, I need this game to be fair. To me, the late fairness is a pointless loss. I've lost so much time already because of this. 
uh, final things you had the right idea but but this isn't a decision that can be made by just us right maybe you could go ask the others as well as any we only change the subject and as for raid you kids have better keep your guard up around here us kids uh, that kind of great spy among years but maybe that's really how other people see them uh, anyway thanks for the tip but Paimon's not sure we can help you Fine, I ain't spit as much. Then I'll leave you to it. Good luck out there. My luck hasn't exactly been great, but I won't be throwing in the towel that easily. Okay, Pam hopes that your luck improves. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, what's the guardian in here? Just who I was looking for. We? We were just leaving. This only happened. Hang on, I like you to answer a few questions first. As you probably know, the missing records need to be recreated. This isn't necessarily bad news for him, but without this those records, he won't be able to leave this place even if he was legally redeemed. He has legally, legally redeemed himself. As such, I hope you can answer my questions honestly. Do you know when Caterpillar arrived in the fortress of Mirapid? Do we know? Uh, he just said that he came here a long time ago, so we don't know when it's exactly. Then I don't suppose you know the specifics of his sentence or crime. No, we don't. Do you know anything about this master he mentioned earlier? No one doesn't remember Caterpillar mentioned him before. Uh, have either of you observed anything peculiar happening while speaking to him? Not so far. The story details have a rather hypnotic effect. Hypnotic? What are stars? What are they about? They are just children's fairy tales. They are not about anything important. Well, children like you shouldn't even be here to begin with. If you end up leaving this place, I hope you don't come back. Okay. That's enough questions for today. It doesn't seem like you know very much, but if you do notice anything strange, make sure to report it at once. It's for your own good. Throw a leaf leaves. Uh, looks like we don't know much about Caterpillar after all. But if he doesn't want to talk about his crime or sentence or anything like that, Pam thinks we better not press him. Mm, you're usually not like that. I'm not really concerned about any of that. He does he does seem a little suspicious, but not a bad person. Suspicious? Mm. Uh, he seems kinda mysterious. But whatever the case, he is doing a good deal right now, isn't he? Lanora seems to really trust him as well, so he's probably not a bad guy. At least for now, right? Uh, you can never go wrong with a little caution. Yeah. After waiting patiently for a while, Caterpillar and Norma return. Mr. Anus, Miss Paimon, you're both so fast, I got carried away talking to Miss Galvana. She even gave me some candy. She said they are made from a fruit that grows on the trees in a desert oasis. Uh, I asked her what kind of place a desert oasis might be, and she says a little body of water surrounded by a vast sea of sand. Doesn't that sound just like the fortress, except, you know, opposite, since it's a, this place surrounded by water? Once you leave this place, maybe you'll get to go there and see for yourself. That reminds me, uh, after all the hard work we've done, we must have advanced by now, right? Speaking of that, ask Estienne. Not yet. Estienne, and here's where things stand at the moment. Uh, you mean we're basically having advanced at all? How could that be? Looks like the competition's been harder work too. Indeed, Raves have some contacts, and the researcher and detective assistant will have their own ways. Uh, surely, this isn't the time to be seeing our rival's praises. Is there really nothing we can do? We're definitely gonna lose at this rate. Well, we're gonna lose, but if we lose, we can always stay here in the fortress, right? We talked about this before, Lanoir. If we stay here, we we'll have to worry each day about being taken away by evil sorcerers. 
Oh, then I guess it would be better to leave. But what Miss Paimo said, we're definitely gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. The game's not over yet. There's still enough time. We're gonna win this. If we don't win this time, there's always next time. Underdog victory would be more exciting. Don't be such a wet blanket. Uh, we have some faith. We can definitely win this time. There isn't much time left until the deadline is since set. Let's just meet at the message board in the administrative area next time. Oh, there isn't much time left until the final results are announced, is there? Paimo has a feeling she's gonna uh, toss and turn in bed tonight. You can tell me secretly if you feel scared, Miss Paimo. Mm, seriously, a kid like you worry about Paimo. Paimo won't get scared. You're not the one who should be scared. Paimo hopes you have sweet dreams, Lanor. Don't worry, I had a lot of nice ones. In fact, I wish I could give some to the two of you. Uh, the candy Miss Govan gave me is so sweet. Remember to brush your teeth before bed. Okay, I will. Should rest now? Do we really have to ask? I interacted with this bot. And it's smart time to tell a story. I heard enough stories to tell one on my own now. Alright, you can be the storyteller this time. Okay. My story will also begin in the giant's garden. Long, long ago, in a garden full of purple flowers, there lived a prince, a princess, and a brave hero. Oh, and the ruler of the garden, a giant with a nasty temper. Uh, what the witch wanted more than anything were, were some, purp some of the purple flowers, but the mean giant treasured them so much that he wouldn't let anyone pick even a single one. Kind-hearted Mr. Giant, the witch asked, I am in need of the little purple flowers in, from your garden. You have so many already, could you please share just one with me? But the giant, mean giant refused. Every flower in my, in my garden belongs to me. The giant shouted, I won't share them with anyone. A kind, mis, kind hearted Mr. Giant, the witch continued, please hear my tale. I travel here from a fountain in a far off distant land. An ocean there has fallen ill, and the scent of, the, of those purple flowers brings her comfort. If you could give me just one of them, perhaps her condition will improve. Mm. But the giant, who didn't have an ounce of compassion in his heart, callously refused the witch's request. What did an ocean in a faraway land have to do with him? Then the witch asked, is there anything I can do for you? I know many magic spells and I could use my magic to help you with, with someone in exchange. Help with something in exchange. Uh, will you agree to my request, kind-hearted Mr. Giant? The giant followed over, then said that he had lost something very important to him. If the witch could use her magic to help him find it. So they made a deal. Uh, yep, in the end, the witch's friend recovered and the giant found what he had lost. Isn't that a better story? Uh, at least in this story, everyone gets a happy ending. Okay, we will work soon. During around this today, you should take the commissions. South side dormitory block. And. The southeast side of the production zone's upper level. Okay, let's go to the south side of the dormitory block first. <laughs> Sorry, but I want to see the thing. We should get tons of coupons in one go. You please wait, I hear you are people of leisure who never turned down requests. That's correct indeed, and just who told you that? Uh, well, rumors, just rumors. Rumors. Actually, a girl in a purple dress asked me to take care of you. 
But I was thinking, since you accept many of your own requests, you must be very capable. So I never need to take care of you. Indeed, you would be more accurate to say that you too can take care of me. Sure, but no discounts. I know the rules, don't worry. Regardless of the outcome, I will compensate you according to the market rates. Uh, but Mora is useless here, so I'll pay with coupons. We'll be compensated no matter what happens, really? Absolutely, and totally correct. Our task is just that difficult, you see? It's that Nizam is, it's that Nizam is fault for being great with his fists, but for using them where they shouldn't have been used. Uh, I'll be staying here for a while longer, so I need a place to pursue my studies. It's best if it's, it has a bookshelf, a table, chair, and a board to write on and steel materials too. I'm sure you know exactly what place I'm talking about, but it's simply not available and there's no point in asking. But I believe that a room on the opposite side has the same internal structure and it should be usable. But it's a really strange place. It seems to be occupied by someone who rarely entertains visitors. I never seen the person, nor even seen the door open. The doors open. Uh, so I appointed Nizami as my representative. He was always reliable during the time I employed him as a bodyguard. However, he got into a disagreement with the occupant, and negotiations broke down. Uh, maybe communication and negotiation have never been his strong suit. Indeed, uh, it didn't even look like a negotiation. He just hammered on the door with his fist, standing outside and shouting. It was a truly shocking moment for me. Oh, how unprofessional. I must suspect he was never a professional when it comes to things like this. As such, I'd like to ask you to act as my representative and negotiate with the occupants to rain out the space he is currently occupying. I expect the price to be a maximum of 54,000 coupons. You may not succeed and that's fine, but at least give it a try, I'm counting on you. Will you get like 10% of that or something? Uh, if only I had a ticket off Carranza earlier. Then maybe the negotiations will be going smoothly. Over here. According to Knuckle, no Fontanian seems to be discriminated against. Will he ignore us as well? Is there a better way to go about this? Knock. Who is this? Who is it? A nameless traveler and adventurer crossing all nations of the world. As not for my identity, nor inquire as to my origins. Well, I'm a melusine. Oh, come on. A voice like that? If you're a melusine, then I'm a blubber beast. Give me a break. Uh, isn't calling yourself a melusine a little over the top? You didn't give me another option. I had a spontaneous. Stop playing around. Don't forget what we're here for. Oh, we'll get paid no matter what, so I can fail that, probably. I don't really want to fail, I like to see what happens when I fail, but if we get paid no matter what, I would prefer to get it right. We were asked to discuss something with you. Uh, we are hired to ask about renting this room of yours, of course, the client will be happy to pay you in coupons. Something similar happened a while ago, the client of yours really refused to give up, huh? You were sent by that guy with a really funky way of talking, weren't you? Not funky. He was normal. Forget it. Out of respect for his perseverance, tell me his offer. As long as we still got some room for communication. Now told us about his expectation for the price. If we're making the offer, should we reveal his budget from the get-go or should we try getting a burger? Well... It didn't work well before, so let's be. Let's put this price in the basement. No, let's just lay all the cards on the table. Alright, but I'm almost telling you like it is. Your client's budget is uh, 54,000 coupons. The final thing is a good deal. Only 54,000? That's just 10% that's higher than when he had a psycho hammer on my door. What a miser. 
Only final thing is a lot. You know nothing. Haven't you ever heard of Carranza? He's much more generous. He offered uh, he offered me you had to think. Uh, 180,000. Really that much? Of course. Do I look like a liar to you? I don't know what you look like. We can't see anything from this setup door. He didn't sound very confident. Maybe he made it up to trick us. On the negotiation planes now, we honestly only have this much. So it's it's his if he wants it. Since he's strange players, let's play him instead. No. I don't know. It didn't work when the first try to go as a Fontanian. And Paimon started saying that they don't like no Fontanians. Uh, we told the truth from the start. We only have that. This is crazy. If you refuse, then our hands are tied. We will have no choice but to give up. I just have to wait a little longer. Just a little longer and you'll raise, rise all the way up. Uh, I'll definitely get a higher offer when you return next time and the time after that. I never miss trap the trains. It will go up. So I must hold on. I cannot harshly agree. I cannot agree so easily. Is there a reason you are so confident? Experience, of course. Based on my last two experiences, the upward train will continue if I don't interrupt it. Isn't that obvious? What kind of logic is that? You are a child, so of course you don't understand. Anyway, it isn't the right time yet, so I won't agree. You can go now. Well, it does seem like he'll be changing his mind. Doesn't seem. Let's head back and pass the news to Knuckle. Well, but it seems he could just wait a little more and uh, offer the same and offer a little less, just a little less. Uh, so he doesn't have he can at, at most stretch bargain back to what it was now. We're back, and so here's what happened. You uh, detail blow by blow account of the negotiations. See, nevertheless, I always keep my word. He, so here's the conversation we agreed upon earlier. Uh, now, what I'm going to do? Hmm. I kind of like to see the other outcome. Forget about difficult tasks and focus on the ones that still hope completing. Uh, about certain someone. A task in the world seems cannot be completed. Should you call it one and best if so as possible? Hmm. Okay, let's go back there. Uh, it was what? Southeast. Um, this goes down. Where's the one that goes up? But now this goes all the way up. No, it doesn't go all the way up here. Ah, upper level. Okay. Oh, this is taking a while. I thought those were some random big quests around here. Ah, there's one of those here as well. Uh, I think it's over here. Click. Uh, listen to instructions. It's not time for that right now. I'll finish task. Uh, what's the camera doing here? Where there's new, there's cameras. I have never heard that before. I think I have. Uh, but I just made that up, so where'd you hear it? I said I think I have. Uh, well, there really isn't anything new under the sun anyway. No matter what I say or write, it is always but a parody of others. The camera is here, so where's the news? Well, news is like fishing. It requires patience in making the right judgment at the right time. That's how you hook a uh, really big fish. Uh, I mean, that's how you hook a scoop. Uh, but it doesn't sound right. Forget it. 
That sounds like a bit amateurish. You're not a journalist, right? Never mind the news. I like fishing too. No, you're not a journalist. Then if you just misjudge me, uh, I am an amateur journalist. Anyway, what's an amateur journalist like yourself doing here? I'm here to complete the project assigned to me to capture the most vivid moments of the Fortress of Merapid Guards at work with my camera. But I spent too much time completing the required compliance documents. And just take a look and you'll understand. Neil takes out a stack of documents, all packed with various contractual clauses and signatures. Just looking at them makes you feel dizzy. By the time I completed all the procedural paperwork, I missed the guards at work during their shift. Or, in fishing terms, there aren't any fish in the water right now. We can just wait the next day. Uh, but there are guards on duty here right now. But I want to hook a platinum collection. I don't think an initial configuration or water body cleaner has uh, enough impact. The way... If I find complete my project, the fo other photographers might not think it worthy of praise. Stop being so picky if you don't want to return empty handed. Well, you keep on waiting then. See ya. Yeah. You're right. I need to come to terms with my own lim limited abilities and stop trying to catch fish that are beyond me. I'm such a useless angler. Uh, wait, I mean amateur journalist. Anyway. No more wallowing in self-pity. Time to cheer up. If it's alright with you, could you do me a small favor, please? I'll pay you. Well, that was fast. Well, it depends on the favor, so why don't you tell us what it is first? You know, over there, Greenview, based on my judgment, his news value among guards is equivalent to that of a situation controller among maintenance max. I should be able to write a good report with him as my subject. Well, I can keep myself from getting criticized at least. But he just refused to come over here, so could you bring him to a suitable spot for me to take a snapshot? Why don't you just explain it to him yourself and get him to come over that way? Can you just take your camera over to him? Well, the view is better here. And if he sees the camera, I'm sure he'll focus on it and leave me with nothing but a bunch of stiff poses to work with. Let me think. It's best if we turn, out the, turn off the loudspeaker, report it to Grainville as a malfunction and ask him to come have a look. Then I'll definitely be able to capture a vivid moment of Fortress of Merope Guard at work. My project's completion depends on this. I'm calling on you. Please help me. It doesn't sound difficult. Enos, maybe we should help her out. I'm going to turn off the loudspeaker. Table, let's part Greenville and tell him there's something wrong. Hi, we found a loudspeaker that seems to be functioning. It's over there. Again, that's strange. Just got cl uh, Klein to repair it. Uh, looks like he's not even as good at fixing things as I am. I mean, all you gotta do is give machines a couple good smacks, right? Anyway, thanks. I'll go have a look. Thanks for your help. That is all up to Nelly. Let's wait and see. Can we disrupt the photo? It worked. They are protecting you from the photo. She was going to shoot you. I finally completed my project. I'm a journalist in my own right now, thank you. Uh, you must have snapped a really excellent picture. Can we see it? Yeah, take a look at this. Uh, doesn't look very vivid, but it's artistic, right? 
It's so vivid, it almost seems like you will start moving at any moment now. Uh, Paimon might get this if she lo looks at it any longer. Will it really be okay to just use this one? What's wrong with it? I think it's a great shot. I'm sure no one will have expected me to snap a shot like this one. They all, they all be so surprised. Uh, Pam really doesn't get your standards for this critique. Oh, it's called symbolic meaning over substance. I'm sure all experienced photographers will understand once I submit it. Anyway, thank you. This is for you. Uh, it, it will be, it would be great if we could chat a fishing spot next time. Send me the message board, so we're done again. I didn't even check how many uh, I had to get today. Oh, let's just jump down. Strange, Caterpillar and Lenora aren't here yet. Why bother coming when you know you're going to lose? I wouldn't be so certain of that. Well, the other guy is here and he's behind us. That's right, you're only ahead of us by a little. A little? <laughs> uh, I don't know, the other guy is in here. Uh, can the results be announced now, Shen? Actually, no, let's wait a little. After all, the best must be saved for last. Looks like we don't have to wait long. Here they come. Mr. Ingles, Miss Paimon, have you seen the results yet? Did we win? We don't know yet. Uh, well, same as everyone's here. Would you announce the results now, Eschen? Of course. But the results on Caterpillar's end still need to be calculated. My, my, what a cruel guard. Toying with us from the start to finish like that. Why don't you ring out the last bit of mercy in your heart and let them know that the gap between us is too wide to cross. Stop torturing us with false hope. These aren't the final results, but... We should be able to win once we add coupons that Carrie got today, right? Uh, hold on, why have Genevieve's team's point been cleared out? I was against it, but this is more logical approach with respect to the results. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Whoa, Rave's team has so many points. Uh, he doesn't need to, the chance to leave, and we don't need the first place. You mean you gave all your coupons to Rave? Uh, isn't that against the rules? There's no rules for being it. I was originally in favor of maintaining the rules to ensure fair play, but no one else seems to be in support of that. Indeed, there isn't a rule for being that. Uh, this competition would have been far more exciting if everyone could have fully used the rules to their advantage. Uh, more exciting for you, maybe? Rules don't mean a thing in a game as boring as this one. At the end of the day, it's a question of upholding one's honor. Alright, now that this course has been announced, isn't it time for the final results? Our points for today haven't been added yet. I know. Uh, I'm dropping the ocean. <laughs> uh, now that everything's been added, here's what the results look like. Yes, Miss Inus, Miss Paimon, look, look, we won. And that's possible. Uh, what did you do? Oh, that many Paimon's lost count. Mm. It's a trick even simpler than magic. I used coupons I saved up in the past to hire a bunch of people to help me work. Their... What we have now is the product of their work this whole time. Uh, and I believe this falls within the rules too. You pay people to work to get money for you. I mean, you probably had to hire a lot of people. You probably had to spend this amount of money because you had to share it with people as well, didn't you? Uh, even if it does, that's an insane amount. It's 
I also have my reasons for needing to win, and I even got help from my two friends. It would be a real shame if I lost now. So this wasn't about honor. I think it's time to announce the final results. Honor, vanish, perhaps. Uh, since everything is being told, it's time to announce the final results. The winner of these games are Caspillar, Mr. Ignus, Miss Pymo. Um, uh, she doesn't count as part of the team. Uh, no objections, I take it. There's nothing I can say except that it looks like I picked a fight with the wrong opponent. I ended up in here last time for striking someone in anger. I won't make the same mistake this time. You pay the price for the choices you made. Oh, but I didn't expect to hear someone actually say that. Pretty cliche, if you ask me. Let's see about that. You see. Uh, is everyone ready? If so, let's head off now. Let's do this before. No, no, let's get back. I hope he can understand that his thinking isn't wrong, but that just. That is just not suited for a place like this. You ready, aren't you, Lanora? Uh huh. I already said goodbye to everyone. We're also ready to get going, whatever. Alright, just keep quiet for a while. I made some arrangements in advance, so we shouldn't run into any problems. Follow a scene out of the Fortress of Mirror Pit. Natural wind really feels better, doesn't it? We might have fans down there, but most of the air feels kind of stale. The fans in the pancreation ring are just like Nautilus. Uh, the fans are indeed needed there, but when their blades spin, they bring the same misery to everyone, no matter who they are. I think you know what I'm talking about. Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon, do you see any walls? I don't see a wall anywhere around here. Walls? There are no walls here. There are the walls somewhere really far away. Kyler once told me that if they are too far away to see with your eyes, they will look like the horizon. Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon, where are we? By the water, we're in Fontaine, we're in the continent of Tivat. Continent? They don't usually say. I thought Tivat was the whole planet they live in. New Fontaine. Fontaine is a blue and green place. The fortress of Mirrorpeed is all yellow and grey. Uh, that thing up in the sky must be the moon, right? If it were the sun, it would probably hurt my eyes like the evil sorcerer's magic. All around me are things I've never seen before, and things I've only seen in books. Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon, let's go on another adventure. Kara was right, adventuring outside is way more fun than in Mirror Pit. That's right, the world outside is vast. I really envy the two of you. And well, let's discuss adventuring later. You really should find your family first. Freeze, all of you. Where do you think you're going? Also, what's with that little girl? They will saucer found us. What business is it of yours? Uh, weren't you on leave? Patrolling with a garden mech in your off hours won't get you promoted, you know? But doesn't have permission to take some outside to help with maintenance. I came as back as I received the report. Have you gotten yourself mixed up with them? You're making great mistake, Estian. Actually, I think you'll find that I'm rectifying a mistake and saving everyone a lot of paperwork. Miss Monglane might even invite me for, to dinner as thanks. No, no, they're criminals. If the papers with their serial numbers on them are missing, they're still criminals. A little girl like this is a criminal. Are you out of your mind? We've been wrongly accused. No. I'm perfectly sane. Anyone can be a criminal. Little girls are no exception. This guy's scary. 
whatever other plans you may have ahead, you, I must now escort you back to the Fortress of Mirapid. How about we go back first and take some time to think it over. Uh, we only just got out and now you wanna make us go back? I don't think so. Let's, let's go with the first one. Just uh, You already dug yourselves a whole lot deeper. When we get back to the fortress, you'll be held separately and questioned. So don't get any funny ideas. Then there's no way out of this. I can see quite a few ways actually. If a few card max gets scrapped in the process, well, that, that's also what happens when people break the rules. You mean, you seem you have no intention of repainting. Then you leave me no choice. Garnamax, show no mercy on recalcitrant criminals. Oh, I still got that party. Zipana. Look alive. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. <laughs> Silence. Let the magic begin. Be sanctified. Bow your head. You asked for it. The tide is back. Uh, did I finish those two? We're doing fine. We, we didn't need to do anything. Oh. Oh, you seem taller. Silence! Let's tell your monster area of the farm. But the feel is a hill true. Let's get it on! Ha! Huh! Zip on us! Be a me! Settle down! So there are hope for the hill trues. We've killed so many of them already. Huh. An oversight on my part. Be sanctified. Yes. Silence. Surprise! Cue the spotlight. You're dead meat. Hola. Yeah. Good heavens! I'm your colleague. You're not thinking of taking. In me too. Uh, since you've thrown your lot with them, you deserve the same punishment. Carter, Mr. Inus, Miss Paimon. Carter Max simply gets scrapped, but you, even if you are most, even if you are monsters, you can still feel pain, right? Is, is this really true, really, Caterpillar? Paimon can wrap her head around this. Uh, Miss Paimon, how do you not recognize him? That's Carter. I'm, I'm a monster in human skin. A monster. I never imagined such a monster even existed in the fortress. A uh, hilly troll that can talk. Who would have thought? Huh. How did you manage to pull the wool over everyone's eyes? What sorcerer could allow a mindless creature to warn its way into our midst like a wolf in sheep's clothing? Why haven't you run away yet? Are you pretending to be human? Of course, I will catch you even if you, if you do run. A dangerous monster like you. I'm guilty, but she hasn't done anything wrong. She shouldn't be here. You won't find her name on any sentencing documents. She's innocent. She only ended up stuck in the fortress due to a few mishaps. I'll return to the fortress with you, but have Essen take her back home. Cutter. 
The monster actually wants to make a deal with me. I do indeed. Let her go home. As far as the fortress of Mirope is concerned, she never existed in the first place. Her absence will not be felt. But catching a monster like me should be a big deal, no? Fontaine hasn't seen a monster like me for several centuries now. I've killed a few. Uh, if you pass up this opportunity, I'll put my human skin back on and slip away in the into the crowd. You'll never get a chance like this again. You're right, I've never seen her in the fortress before. She's completely re irrelevant. But you, you're too dangerous. I can't risk letting an evil monster like you get away. We have a deal. You return to the force of Mirapid and the girl can leave. You, you will achieve your goal. Might as, as well take it. Uh, don't take the deal. It could be a trick. Nah. The guild return to where they should be. Eleanor returns to her family's side. Everything is on the right track, as it should be. He is someone who follows the rules. This is also in accordance with the rules. Enough, monster. I've caught you now. You are all coming back to the fortress of Meropid with me, the girl included. What? But didn't you just... Uh, who would actually make a deal with the monster? Anyone... Could anyone be sure that... The words coming out of his mouth aren't some peculiar incantation to stand human wisdom. I won't be fooled again, so I decided to play by my own rules. If your documents are missing, then I will stay in the fort of Merope for the rest of your lives. Uh, you have no right to bypass the trial. If you want to emphasize that in your written appeal, be my guest. But until then, you don't have a choice. We were winning the fight. You are escorted back to the fortress of Mirupid. Welcome back. Now that a few appeal forms out for you already, but you should stay out of trouble until the final decision has been made. More specifically, do not rile him up. I thought I was getting a co-worker who knew what he was doing. So I could be less stressed, but as it turns out, I have gotten, I've only gotten busier since he arrived. I really want to take vacation in Natal. Uh, I want to go to Natal too. Uh, what happened to them? I want to go to Natal too. This is not the time for chit chat, but I'm wondering how Olanora and the others are doing. They are being kept under strict watch now. If you don't want the same treatment, then follow the rules. So, this is still not over. Hey, should we go see what they're doing? I thought we were almost done with the quest. Then on this, I trust him. Hello. I have a few questions. And your questions, whatever they are in this form, once they're categorized, we've categorized them. We will answer them all together at a later date. You can just answer them now, but I don't want you to fit for. I can determine whether or not your question is the one which I can answer. Therefore, I am unable to give an answer to that question. But if you wish, you can add the question to the form. Let me change my party. Just in case there are some more fights. Uh, it was him. And John Lee. And her. Uh, who ate up? No, I better do a part. <laughs> mm. uh, it's you. Indeed, it's me. No, let's hold it. Probably call it a ton for my scenes, but I've got seniority so he doesn't get to order me around. Then, what are you doing here? A ton for my scenes, what else? Uh, why does Paimon get a feeling you aren't the least be surprised? Did you already know Caterpillar's, uh, do you know his true identity? I only knew that he's been here for a long time, longer than any of us. As for the rest, is any of it really important? He looks like a human, he talks like one too. 
What can I say? I like chatting with him. Maybe appearances matter more to me than what's outside. Maybe appearances matter more to me than what's outside. Inside. You just said the opposite. Uh, that's understandable. I beg to differ. In any case, uh, if we're looking for Caterpillar, he's inside. What about Lanoir? Is she in there with him? She was taken to go fill in some registration form. But don't worry, she'll be back soon. Okay, then let's ask Caterpillar just what's going on with him. Shouldn't Wesley know about this? About her? He knows about almost everything around here. Shouldn't he know about her now, at the very least? I'm sorry for dragging you two into this. My plan was to get Lanora home and to her family, then return on my own. But it looks like that plan was a complete failure. There is a lot I want to ask you. I imagine so. I've never noticed they were so tall. Uh, you really are Caterpillar, right? I am. No, you are Hilchur. I am. But aren't you really shoes all uh, kind of dumb? You look just like a regular kid before. Uh, Paimon doesn't know what's real anymore. You said before that you look like this because you got sick after all. Everyone has things they rather not tell anyone. And you're also good to Lanora and she trusts you too. But you're not human at all. If you're really true, then you can trust me. Well, I want the answers to questions uh, uh, Norris asked before. I'll answer all your questions truthfully. When did you come to the forests of Meropid? Over 400 years ago. 400 years ago? When you said you've been here a long time, Paimon thought you made something like 3 or f to 5 years. But 400 years is like several generations, isn't it? Alright, you're heal true. Uh, what was your crime? If you're interested in history, I was a member of the Narcissian Cross Ordo. I was found guilty of being an accessory to the Master's scheme. The Narcissian Cross Ordo, we've heard of that before. I'm surprised anyone still remembers it. The prophecy of the apocalypse, my master believed that he could stop this future of destruction from coming to pass. We did much to prepare for this. It was a powerful magic and also a evil plan. But perhaps none of this is important now. The plan failed and the Narcissus and Cross Ordo has essentially ceased to exist. Whether Fontaine is this or not, it no longer has anything to do with me. Just who was this master you spoke of? Narcissus Cross, a powerful mage. Uh, he taught me human speech and granted me memory intelligence. Ah, okay, so this had nothing to do with Karya. You were already a healer by then. Was there really someone who could do something like that? Um, but your appearance aside, you really do seem like an ordinary human. Though many details of the past have faded into memory, I remember his, this very well. This is a very, very long time ago. I couldn't change how I appeared to others a will then. Many humans, uh, some finery, uh, others in rags, some with curiosity, others with disdain. Would all ask similar questions. Can he really choose really talk? Are really shoes really capable of intelligence? My master raised the holy blade of Narcissus and Cross High. It was a ceremonial sword, so the blade wasn't sharp, but it still glistened in the sunlight. Behold, he said, even a hero's monster such as this can attain wisdom and redemption through my power as the incarnation of the Narcissus and Cross. I was one of his creations, and as a testament of Jonas and Cross power, I once wielded a blade for the Ordo. But the sacred sword evidently couldn't save my master from a fate of failure and ruin, and the mystical magical weapon no longer exists. 
and there will be no more monsters in human skin like me. Why do you want to help Lanor? Because of compassion? Humanity may be unattainable for me, but at the very least, I can imitate it. Just like how I learned to change how I appear to others. Paimon doesn't get it. In us, Paimon, you both innately possess kindness and benevolence. Because of this, you don't need to think twice about helping others. You simply do. If you look at their outcome al outcomes alone, plan of actions are indistinguishable from each other. We all agree that Lanoir shouldn't stay in the Fortress Merpid and that she should return to her family, so we chose to help her. Your actions come from a native benevolence that doesn't require excessive consideration or calculation. For me, however, it is because by doing so, I will be more like a human. Funny, isn't it? I'll never truly become human, yet I can stop mimicking human behavior. It's like atonement. As far as human law is concerned, I've long since toned for my sins, but a human, what would a true human do? They will never forgive themselves for the mistakes they made, the harm they caused, and the people or things they failed to save. So my sins can never be absolved, and I will forever be my own prisoner. What do you plan to do next? I'll bring Lanoret back to her family. Uh, but forget about getting out of for the fortress, we can't even get past this door. I made a promise to her, so I have to fulfill it. She shouldn't stay here any longer, especially not by my side. The Jode mine shaft is dangerous route, but it's feasible. Okay, so now I think I'll get those. Uh, the Jode mine shaft, that's right. Klein said that there's an opening there that leads outside. So the guards ask him to install a locking mechanism like the one at the rift of erosion. He also said something about having prepared surprise, probably enemies. Thanks, there's no way that's anything good. There are you sure you want to go from there? Paimon seems to remember that the research terminal there has to be operated by two people at the same time. And Lanoir is so small, Paimon doesn't think she'll be able to operate it. Why don't we help then, Ignis? I do innately possess kindness after all. I'll do it for you, Paimon. No, for them. Uh, I have a few more questions about the Ordo as well. I think there are other places better suited to discussing the history of the Narcissian Cross Ordo. Somewhere that is in the Fortress of Merapid, for example. Then we just have to wait until after Lanoir is reunited with her family. Before any of that, we need to think of a way out of here. And we need to meet back up with Lanoir. And Shane will help us open the door, but there's a limit to how much he can help us. He should be at the entrance, right? Let's go ask him. Let's ask the guard first. Uh, should we try knocking? Going somewhere? Uh, you know, Shen. He has something to do, so he has me to cover for him. Malpo. Uh, when are people finally going to get it? Their heads that I have my own work to do too. Oh, th then can we leave? You can, but it's dangerous out there. How dangerous, you ask? But as dangerous as the mental state of the new guard, I say. Uh, he really is a lunatic. I had no idea that there were so many garden max on the move. Uh, not only that, people actually approve of his methods. Not that I know how serious those people are. If you want to go, you better get, be prepared. I mean, it would be best if you didn't come back again. But Lanor is not back yet. I'm here, Miss Malfoy just brought me back. Then there's no time to lose, Lanoir, I know we lost the last game to the evil sorcerer, but are you ready for a new challenge? A new game? You mean a new adventure? I'm ready. We can let the evil sorcerer catch us again. Looks like they're all good. Are you ready then, Ignus? Yep, let's go. Not yet, a little more time. Let's go. 
thanks for your help. We just teleport. This one is different from before. It is really necessary for our kids. Our protection is Paimon. Is Paimon, don't be afraid of the hexes of those wicked sorcerers. I'll stop them for you. And let me the Galanoa. Uh, be careful, discover the guards. Productions uh, of the hedge. Okay, special story mode and can be this action. Okay. Can we fight them? Ah, very big spot. Alright, go through down there. Guarded, what should we do? Search right here. Oh, come on. I was reading the thing down there. Keep up. <sighs> what a the search light. Uh. Maybe I could glide over him. Am I hidden?
damage. Ah, <sighs> uh, can I use that to deactivate them? didn't have to go right now the girl has been here for years it's not like we're in any hurry to take her out we could wait a few days they can be in this state indefinitely uh, okay will I have them now I don't know if it's different from before. Ah, there are three now. Hey, hang on. One van the one that was here already vanished. Remove. Uh no, there's one there that's different. Why is it so slow? It feels slower than before. Oh, I can't remove this one. Great. That was precisely the one I wanted to remove. I can place it here. Okay, I can only place them back on the same spots. That's it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the Tush. There. Fine. Don't need to get back there and get that the powered up thing, do I? Ah, oh, no. I'm not sure. Come on, I should take one of those.
It's a different inside fortress. There's no trace of human buildings at all. There are traces. But people really work in a place like this. a door here activate that already hey I don't remember that maybe he wasn't here before I don't remember all those rocks hang on did I activate that before uh, is this the jode mine shaft Paimon's heard of it before but it's a little different than she imagined Wow, what pretty rocks are all those gems? It's Archeon. Archeon mining operations stopped after the Fontaine Research Institute extinct. Maybe we should keep our distance then. So, there really is a research terminal here. Um, is that a node next to it? Few clients have left it here. Let's see what it says. This locking mechanism can only be opened by two people simultaneously. The energy storage unit has been removed from the front research terminal. The geode mine shaft has been equipped with a flying energy thief. Uh, initializing the front research terminal with an energy storage device is not advised unless protective measures have been taken. The flying energy thief is a trial product that has not undergone internal of or peer review. They will pursue any entity carrying an energy storage device and disable said device. Loss of control or explosions occurring during the trial product's operation will be considered unfortunate accidents for which the manufacturer is not liable. Uh, it is strongly advised not to leave not to leave from here. Work in the production zone is arduous, but at the very least it is not life threatening. Turn back now. If there is anything about the Fortress of Merope that you are unsatisfied with, please see Miss Monglane and fill out a survey. Uh, is this the surprise Clans was talking about? It's more like a shock. Uh, to activate this research terminal, we need a mobile energy storage device. But once we have one, we will get chased by some flying energy thief. Looks like we just have to be this energy thief in the race. I like to go back and give Klein a beating, uh, but flying is faster than running. Uh, we can't blame it all on him. There's going to be a race. I'll be rooting for you too. Alright, let's leave the, this terminal to Caterpillar in Lanora. We'll take care of the rest. I'll keep watch. Be careful. Play Energy Thief. Uh, this is said to be one of the secret measures set inside the geode mine shaft. You actively pursue entities carrying storage devices and will use small yield explosions to disable those storage devices. To anything that is not holding on to a storage device, however, they pose no threat at all and appear to be no more than pretty little balls. Where am I on the map? Okay, no, I've never been here. Uh, but I think I got confused with another. Ah, okay, no, I think there was ah no, there was a door here, I guess. Um, uh, but I didn't activate that yet because there seemed to be a quest over there. Yeah, here I think there was a long corridor, but I didn't get there as well because. It looked quest like, so I waited. Lanoir? I'll be waiting for you, Mr. Ignus, Miss Paimon. Caterpillar. We'll take care of things here. Uh, what? I had to grab all of them. Uh, 
nothing happens. Oh. Ah, okay. I thought I had to find out. We got another energy here. What's that? Don't you just get it? Mysterious R. Hmm. Mysterious green, yellow, crystalline R. R at the same time seems to be mutually... Seems to mutually attract. So I can use that to attract others. Does it vanish? They didn't grab that yet. Oh, I have to activate the one I powered on already. Which still broke. Just doing that same time, shoot of in the path. Three, two, one, and there. I'm finally get out, get the narc the pillar, get over here, let's get out of here. Is this off again? The Fountain Research Institute tax is really unreliable. Someone sent to catch us. Maybe. Should we go back and take a look then? No need to trouble yourselves, team guests. You are evil, and I represent the side of justice. Even without Gardamax, I won't let you get away. Lay down your arms and surrender. You want to take them? Yeah. I'll see you. No, here we go. I trust you. Yeah. 
Solidify. Over here. Over here. Yeah. I never see those weapons. Come on. Just this hurts. Come on, Petra Peeler. Leaving you. Three more times. Okay, he doesn't even lose health. He's, there's no chance of him losing. And shroud. Let's just leave the final hit for him. Save me. Come on, I'll keep him distracted. Kill him. Come on. That works. You're missing. You're missing. He, he's just a monster. Why would you help him? Why would anyone help him? Kader is it a monster? Why? Why do you call him that, evil sorcerer? Ever since mother left Mirror Pit, Kader has been really nice to me. He's never lied to me. There are other nice people here too, but none of them are as nice as Kader. He tells me all kinds of stories and listens to mine too. I won't let you call him a monster. Why, justice should triumph over evil. There's no such thing as good or evil here. Ashen, what are you doing here? You're late. What are you doing here? You're late. Sorry about that. It took me quite some time to retrieve those Gardamax utilized without authorization. Well done. You didn't just break the rules, but you also violated regulations. Now it's your turn to accept your punishment. You're coming back with me. As for you guys, if you want to leave, this is your last chance. Uh, with all the fuss he's been making, who knows what will happen later. Of course, it's also possible that nothing will happen at all. Thank you. 
Uh, if you really want to thank me, don't come back again. Then, as with Shannon's help, the path is reopened. But among guesses, we can now go. We should be in the clear now, right? Uh, let's get a move on before we run into any more surprises. We're leaving my repeat again. Will we ever come back? Sure, if we do something bad out there. We'll use the front door next time. Oh, then... Don't go running off causing trouble, just come back for a visit. Well then, goodbye Meropid. Oh yeah. I don't know why that was activated already. Because... This seems to be a one way. Directions a secret path leading out of Mer Fortress Merpit. Running out, the air outside is so fresh. We're at the same place as before. Lanner's family lives at the foot of mountains to the southeast in a mansion with a garden of purple flower. There's something else we want to talk about, but let's get closer. Oh, that's quite far. Let's just teleport there. Ah, next to. Ah, I know what house that. Next to the guy with the dogs. Hmm, <laughs> the purple flowers. That's your real home over there, just like Agnes. Oh, hang on. Was Agnes the name of his daughter? At the breeze foothill of a mountain, upon a flowery field of grass. That's it? It's just like mom said. You know, Spamo, why don't you take Lana over there? What about you, Carter? Aren't you coming with us? I'm feeling pretty tired, so I'll rest up here for a while. I'll catch up with you later. Then I'll stay with you, and once you're all rested up, we can go together. Mr. Enos, Miss Paimon, you must be tired too. It's a shame Brandy and Mr. Wolsey aren't here. I kinda wanna go back. Back where? Back to Merpid, of course. The fortress of Merpid is in your home. Going back now probably wouldn't be a great idea. Don't you want to go back to your real home, Lanora? Look, you can see it from here. We just have to go over there, and we'll have reached the end of our adventure. And speaking of which, Pamon thinks we've met your family before, now that she thinks about it. A lot of the details add up. You explain how you help earn shop find prince, princess and hero. Oh yeah, the story she told that was a... <laughs> that were them living in the... Uh, inside the walls. Earnshaw's tests ruggled is so tasty, you are gonna love it, Lanoir. Uh, it's just like Agnes said, look Lanoir, there's nothing to worry about. Go home, I know Earnshaw will take good care of you. Will you go with me then, Carter? After all, you've rested. Lanoir, Lanoir, everyone has somewhere they should return to. You should go back to your real home, and I have somewhere... I should go too. Then, then we will we see each other again. At the end of the story, the characters in it all disappear. I don't think they see each other again. Of course we will. Your adventure is only just beginning. 
there's still a whole wide world out there for you to explore. This is just a temporary goodbye. We'll see each other again. Really, really, really? I know you've never lied to me before, but... Let me tell you a story, Lanor. Long, long ago, there was a mage's apprentice. He was a dim-witted apprentice, so it took him far more time. So it took him far more time than the others to learn the language of magic. But his teacher, who was an amazing mage, wasn't the least bit concerned. On the contrary, he heaped praise on his apprentice's progress, and even trusted him with important tasks. The apprentice never doubted his teacher's instructions. After all, he was a great mage who, thought, who taught him the language of magic. The mage had a basin in his workshop. Actually, you could call it a fish bowl, as he kept a little fish in it. One day, the little fish called out to the apprentice. Hey, you over there, need to eat, help me out. The apprentice was taken aback. Apart from the great mage, nobody, or no creature even, would make conversation with him for like that. So, this piqued his curiosity, and he asked how he could help. As it turned out, this little fish used to live in the vast and boundless sea. By being brought here, he had been separated from his family. He tried to ask others for, to help, but none had responded it. I'd like to bring you home, but my teacher has forbidden me from going out, said the, the princess said. Hearing this, the little fish swam crestfallen to the other side of the bed, basin saying nothing further to the apprentice. Then one day, the apprentice discovered that the little fish was no longer in the basin. Who took it away? Did they bring it home? The apprentice couldn't help but wonder. Without the little fish, the basin was now completely empty. Just what sort of place is this vast and boundless sea? Before he realized it, the apprentice's thoughts had drifted to the world outside the workshop. And then what? I bet the mage's apprentice leaves the workshop. But the little fish did go back to its home, the sea. And that's a place with lots and lots of water, right? Does the prince find it? I'll tell you the rest of the story next time. Oh. Only listening to my stories can be that much fun. The next time we meet, if you don't want to hear my stories anymore, you could tell me some of the stories you hear from Earnshaw. I think you have many stories I'd like to share with you. Well, then, the next time we meet, I'll be sure to have lots and lots of amazing stories to tell you. I look forward to hearing them too. Uh, for now, it's time for you to go home, Lanora. This goodbye is only temporary. We'll see each other again. Okay, then, until next time, Carter. Mr. Ignus Spymon, let's go. Please take Lenor home. in the butt. Oh, what are you kids doing here? And this young lady is... Strange, looks rather like... Together with Paimon, you describe to Earnshaw what you heard about Agnes from Caterpillar. As you speak, Lenora supplements the tale with a few childish words of her own. So that's what happened. The silly girls already... Mother's not in Merpid. Is she not here either? Yeah, she didn't like you here, so she left and never returned. Why, this place is full of things she likes. I recognized Prince, Princess and Hero as soon as I saw them. Mom said that she was always very quick to change her mind and she pestered her dad, uh, I mean Grandpa, for ages until he finally agreed to get her puppies. 
she really liked dressing them up, but but soon she has something else she became even more fond of, so she didn't get to watch them grow up. Why won't she come back? If she doesn't come back soon, I'm gonna grow up as well. She'll come back and see you grow up? No, I'm not gonna lie to her. Uh, so is this place going to be my home from now on? That's right, child. This place is your home now. Okay, mm, I smell this ragot. You can eat as much as you like. I'm back on my own home now. This way, I think Kyra will be happy too. Kyra, is he the one who took care of her? If he's alright, could you invite him to rest a while here in the cabin? He's got other things to take care of. He's kind of shy. When we were in Merrifield, he was always really good at hiding sick. Nobody could find him if he really wanted to hide. Yeah, he's quite shy, so he's watching us from a distance. As long as he knows Lenora's home is safe and sound, he'll be content. Is that so? Well, that's a pity. Could you help me get a message to him then? No matter when, he will always be welcome here with open, open arms. If you will ever get the chance, invite him over to be our guest. We'll tell him. Sure thing, leaves to us. Karen agreed that next time we meet, I'm gonna tell him great stories to him. Now looks like we got a lot of awesome stories to prepare them. Uh, we can be sharing stories with him that are at least a hundred times more incredible than his. Okay, a hundred times. Even Carter will be surprised. We can reminisce about the old days while we drink tea and even enjoy some snacks. Uh, you're finally back in your real home, Lanora. You must be tired. We'll leave you to it for now. Mr. Ignis, Miss Paimon, are you leaving too? We've got our own adventures to go on. Okay then, when I grow older, can we go on adventures together? Oh, and Kara can come along as well. One day perhaps. We can discuss it when we're older. One day perhaps. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ignis, Miss Paimon. See you guys later. You guys are leaving now. Thank you. Thank you guys. Safe journey. Too bad Carden isn't here. If he was, he could enjoy he this with us too. Even if Carden was here, would you uh would you still wouldn't be allowed to drink any more Fonta today? Um oh, but Carter said you have to share with others to be even more happy. I'm sure Carter also said not to have too much sugar and to brush your teeth after eating. Oh, he did mention that. Talk to Caterpillar. Keep up. Uh, I can't really take a piece, don't they? Ah oh, no, Earnshaw brings a lot of guard. Child will play on somewhere more spacious. Uh, so the thing with the witch and all that, he was telling more stories about his, her mother. I thought it was more about her leaving the fortress that she wouldn't be able to come back. At a pillar, wouldn't it be great to meet Grandpa Earnshaw in Lenora right now? Are you sure about this? She's returned to her normal world with her real family. For her, I say things couldn't have ended any better. As for me, she'll forget about me in no time. Hey, don't say that. You should know that you mean a lot to her too. She definitely won't forget the promise which you made to each other. Uh, if you really never see her again, she'll be heartbroken. She won't. Children tend to quickly forget both meetings and farewells. This is how they grow up. I'm simply a character in the story, brave at times, yet also an evil monster at others. Let this fantastical story be a memory consignated to her past. She has the real world now, and one that's hundreds of times better than any fantasy narrative. You know, Spymon, thank you. Don't mention it <laughs> about the payment. As I mentioned before, there are places better suited to retelling history like the Narcissus and Cross Ordo. 
Oh, we've been there before. If so, that'll save us a lot of time trying to find the way there. Let's go. Okay. Okay, this ended here. And... This could be just like a little... Yeah. This could be... Five lines of dialogue. And be done with it. Or this could start a whole nother quest with Anne and Seymour. So yeah, I'm gonna stop here. And next time I play, I'll go there. Let's just try to get one wisely. No. Uh, yeah, no more pieces there. Okay, and I'm out.